Okay, I need to pull me up a YouTube. And hi, anybody that's here. I should have had that done already, shouldn't I? I have to do it too when I flip over. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. Okay, let's get me. I have to do it too when I flip over. Uh oh, got oh, me. Wait. Video. Hey, everybody. Let me mute that. And. Oh, I forgot my earplugs. Where is We should sure sure need them. Huh? We shouldn't need them, though. It shouldn't cause any feedback as long as we've muted okay. the videos. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. That's fine. I could hear you. I couldn't hear you. That's what I was worried about. I can't hear her. Oh, no. Okay. Hey, there we are. There's everybody. Okay. And y'all, y'all just going to have to bear with me tonight because I have just coughed and hacked and carried on like a dying dog. Hey, Debbie Porter, how are you? My friend. And um, this is my Debbie Porter from, uh, hey, Pray Picking Girls. Hey, Nikki. Uh, hey, Darlene and Geisha. Hi, Casey. Um, Bambi, I'm glad you're feeling better. There's Blandine. Hi. Okay, Debbie. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I'm going to give Debbie a wrench because I know Debbie. She's my buddy, and y'all are all my buddies, but I need to make sure Bougie has a bent wrench. She does have a wrench. Okay. Oh, crud. That's the thing that grots me the most. Every time over here, my my uh, my hangout goes away. So, anyway, so. Okay. So, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Hi, Faye, how are you? I, I was trying to say Faye and Robertson all at the same time. That didn't work very well. So um, I hope you all had a great weekend. Our second night of Bible school was like wild and fun. But right in the middle of my weekend where I'm downloading all this stuff for a new curriculum for my children's church ministry, the um, keyboard on my computer started. It quit working. So hey, Joyce. Hey, Jude. So I had no keyboard, and I'm like freaking out. I did everything I know to make it all work. Hey, Nora, how are you? Uh, I could not get my keyboard working. So I went to Walmart and bought a keyboard <laughs> and plugged that baby in so that I, I, I'd i rather break in a new husband than I had a new computer. So <laughs> isn't that horrible? So <laughs> that's funny. So uh Anyhow, I'm waiting just a little bit to let people come in and see. It looks like there's 20 people here. Hey, guys, we're going to have a lot of sterling tonight, and I do mean a lot. I've got, I'm just going to count right quick. One, two, three, four, five six six different lots listed that are is sterling so we are going to have a lot of sterling tonight so thank you pink i've always been told pink and reds are one of my colors and i was going to change shirts but it was just too much energy to use up so my we had dinner with my mom tonight my brother was down visiting and my mom cooked fish so we had some nice good crappie for supper so and yes yeah. it was fried and breaded but keto be hecked <laughs> so anyway so so anyhow and i said hey to casey i think casey didn't i say hi to you earlier i think so so yeah be sure and give me a thumbs up so are y'all ready to get this party started definitely definitely okay well we're going to start right quick with a bead bag now these are all kinds of beads most of them are intact but there are also pieces of beads too like this little piece of 
beads and this is really just a bead lock for crafting and uh, I've got my scale right here there's a brand new package of beads uh, all kinds of beads in here so I'm going to start this there is Valerie hi Valerie how are you I'm gonna weigh <laughs> this right quick uh oh something was on my scale on my scale making it do crazy there we go so it's 13.7 ounces in beads so it is small enough unless you win a whole bunch of other things that it could go first class hey Barbara thank you so I'm thinking pink may be my color you guys are all liking pink so anyway <laughs> yeah prairie picking girls I love pink too so I'm going to go ahead and lock on my screen April okay okay and that way I don't cuz I keep jumping back and forth between me and you so there's 28 viewers this bead lot it's a sandwich size bag it's full of beads it weighs 13.8 ounces there are some puka shells in there there are also some loose silver beads and amethyst chips this is definitely just a crafting bag and we're going to start this at two dollars okay start okay. at two dollars so anyway and I lost you all two dollars so anybody interested in any beads beads bead bead beads so I don't have a whole lot of grab bags but I do have two grab bags besides this start at two dollars two dollars for the beads is anybody interested in beads two dollars we have anybody want to go two dollars anybody jewelry some of them and show you let's see there are all kinds of beads in here here are the puka shells and they've got some, a pretty uh, hematite bead in them there is this that is a natural looking bead so anyway you made a bead bag last night yours is for your antique booth um oh these are neat these little this is a little bracelet and it's like it's beads so anyway You'd think I wouldn't have no beads as many as I send out. Here's some more beads. Just a lot of beads. So two dollars. Anybody interested at two dollars? Two dollars. So that's where we're starting. Hey Barbara, Babsy, Prairie Girl. All I think I've said hi. Pink is my color. So anyway, and there's green. There's some real, really pretty green ones in here. So. Two dollars. If there's no interest, I'm going to put them down and we're going to move along because I don't want to be here all night long. I'll bring them back later. Okay, we'll go on to something new. So, oh, let's go to a very unique silver piece. Okay, hi Jay Adams, how are you? I don't think I've ever seen you in one of my auctions before or one of my live chats. So welcome to my channel. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe already. Guys, this is a size six and a half sterling silver Malachite Navajo ring. I bought this over on the west side of the state in a flea market, and it was marked Navajo. And I'm going to see if I can show it like that. How's that? How's that looking for y'all? And I need to start this at fifteen dollars. Anybody interested? Start at fifteen dollars. And it's pretty chunky. I mean, it's not real fine. Here's the back of it. It does not have any signatures on it, but it is very old. It is very, very old. But I did test it. $15 start. I did test it, and it is sterling. So it is beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So I'm looking um, do you have here. a, did you say you knew the size on that one? It's a six and a half. I do not have, hey, junk lady, I do not have a, I have a ring sizer like this, mm -hmm. and so it only has equal sizes, and it's hard to do when you've got this, but I'm pretty sure it's a six and a half. It's between a six and a six and a half, so anyway, hey, Frankie Dennis, how are you? Welcome to my channel. Okay. Well, I went for 
So, uh, I don't know who you're calling a troll, a troll junk lady. I don't see anybody trolling. Everybody that I see, I know. So, oh, there was a post alone, but somebody took them out already. Okay, good deal. So, I didn't even catch it. anybody <laughs> interested? I got you for 15. I started it out. Anybody else for 16? Fifteen dollars. It is beautiful. I've got s several Navajo pieces tonight, so. So that one is just marked for Sterling. It doesn't have a designer yeah. name or a, I don't even know a designer it's name, a, a artist name. <laughs> nope. I don't even know that it's marked Sterling. I just tested it. I did mm -hmm. not clean it, so it's got a lot of uh, tarnish on the inside, but it looks like there's a Sterling mark in it. A mm -hmm. mark. So I am feeling a little better. I'm, but it is really dirty. But is this the yeah, ring that's not on the, on the list? So it is very pretty. So is this the one that's not on the list? Yes, this is the one that's not on the list. Okay. So. All right. Anyone going sixteen? I need sixteen dollars. April has it at fifteen, guys. Okay. Just because I'm paranoid and I cannot help it that I'm paranoid, uh, I did double check it and it is definitely sterling. And I don't know that y'all can see this mark, but let's see if I can run it down there and it'll turn even more. But uh, uh, it is turning the milky white blue. You can kind of see it there when I turned it down. So let's see if I can do that down like that. Now, can you see it? Yeah, I see it's turning that milky white. Oops, I just dumped acid on my computer. Oh, um, no. It might eat right through that plastic. <laughs> there we go. I got it up. I got it up. So $15 for a ring, a sterling silver Navajo ring with Malachi. Oh. I will gladly take that one. I'm sure that will fit my pinky finger, if nothing else. <laughs> yeah, it fits my pinky finger. So you need a larger size? So. Yeah, I'm like eight and a half for my other ones. Maybe a yeah. nine in the middle. Yeah, it fits my pinky finger real nice. So mm -hmm. it's really nice. So you can start calling it if you want. Hey, Francis Marlowe. Okay. But I see some, there I see some faces coming in I haven't seen in a while. So uh, hi, Mila. So, guys, this is a sterling silver Navajo Malachite ring, size six and a half. April has it at $15. Anybody want to go 16? Anybody want to go 16? You can always wear it for a pinky ring. It's not too big for a pinky ring, too. It's really pretty. So, yeah, it is pretty. Yeah, pretty. I love the turquoise. Uh, and I like the squash uh, blossom. Sorry, guys. It's going to be one of those knots. <laughs> so, it's got a leaf. Can you see the leaf there? It's got that leaf. Yeah, that's uh, a squash blossom there oh, on the ring. Pretty. So, anyway, so. All right, so I'm going twice. Anybody 16? I feel like I'm just taking it. 16, that's okay. <laughs> Going so, three times. Sold to April. All right. Sold to me for 15. Thank oh, you. Oh, Fashion, you were so late. She said, I done said sold to April. I am so sorry. But I have more. Don't worry, Fashion. I have more. Not more just like that. But I have more Navajo and Sterling Silver. So thanks for being here, Fashion. So, Patricia, going three times. Okay, Jude, I, I think I had done, I did not see her when I said sold to April. I'm sorry, Patricia, I did not see you. When yeah, I, my chat, I put, I typed sold and then I see Patricia at 16. So, I did not see. So, I have to just go by what I see and I am, I am 
I am uh, refreshing to make sure that I'm seeing the yeah. latest. And we but, we uh, gave everybody so much time that that's why I started calling it. This one was a really long one, so that's okay. That's okay. Okay, second hmm. second blue choker. This is a blue one of these kind of things. It is not <laughs> sterling silver. It is not, and I am not even going to try to get it on my net. So, fifteen dollars. So, I mean, we're going to start this at five. I said 15. We're going to start this at five. Hi, Elaine. Anybody want to bid on this at five dollars? It's really pretty. Is that a cat's That's eye pretty. stone in there? Yeah, it looks like a cat's eye. So. That's pretty. That looks like a cat's eye. So. That's a very detailed little yeah. choker there. Good. Can you see that pendant real good now? Mm-hmm. Very good. So I got five dollars. Anybody going to start at five dollars? There's 39 people here. Hey guys, be sure and leave thumbs up and subscribe. Hey, we're starting at five. Maybe we can see the back side of the pendant. Yeah, no that's a really it. nice made piece. And you said it's not sterling though. Nope, it's it not looks sterling. like it. So it's a real good quality piece. And you know, it actually feels like it too. The the uh, the choker feels like sterling, but it is not sterling. And I, you know what? Yeah, no, neither one of them are sterling. So no, Barbara, it's not sterling, but it it looks like sterling. So maybe it's plated. Mm, I don't know. And that's a unique little neck necklace, like the the wire. I've never seen one with the curve. You could probably so, take the pendant see? off the wire and flip that around and wear yeah. the little pearl in the yeah. front. You can wear whatever you want. So, oh, and you can, you know what? You could hang it from right there. Like mm -hmm. that. And that would it. look unique. Hold on. Let's see if I can do it right. So, yeah, it's not sterling, Barbara. So, $5, starting at $5. Anybody there? That is cool, too, isn't it? Yeah, that's really cool. So five dollars. Anybody want to start it at five dollars? The pin that goes on the curve. Okay. There we go. So anybody want to start it at five dollars? I did. I did scratch it here. So let's just see. But I'm pretty sure just from the mark. Okay. Fashion Reclaim says she'll do five dollars. Okay. Thank good. you, Desiree. And no, it is not sterling at all. It just disappeared. I think that's the way it's worn. Hi, Mary. I didn't see you come in. So, oh my goodness. So, maybe that's why I didn't sell it in the flea market because I had it put in the different. So, anyway, shipping is based on the weight and your location. But when you get over a pound, I combine it all, and uh, uh, so then yeah, into that seven seven dollar dollars. Flat rate. Yeah, shipping. Flat rate. So. All right. So anybody going six for this unique necklace here? You can always change the pendant out and wear whatever you'd like on there or wear it by itself. I think it'd yeah. be nice just like that. Take the pendant out. None of it is signed. There's no marks on any of it, but it's just mm. so beautiful. I thought that it would be a, a really nice piece to go in here. So, all right, so we're doing going once at five. Anybody else interested? Anybody doing six? Okay. Sorry, guys, I don't mean to be rude. I'm just reaching for things that I can put things in after that, after they're sold. So, Going twice at five dollars. That was really sweet, Barbara and, and Sandy's off. Was it? No, who was it? No, it was, it in was a, Texas Elizabeth yeah. auction. Yeah. So she bought that huge lot of jewelry, and that was a bunch of beautiful jewelry. Oh, I'm talking about the balloon thing. The balloon oh. thing. I didn't see the balloon thing. <laughs> yeah. 
So, and let's see. Give that just a second, but I have Fashion Reclaim at five. The sold to Fashion Reclaim. Yes, sold to Fashion Reclaim. All right. Congratulations. Okay, sold at five dollars. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait and let April say this sold on it, okay? That way I don't cause any confusion because I'm easily confused. So you guys are going to remember this. I have not cleaned this up anything, but um, we're going to start this at $5 also. And it's that big, really big statement piece. And you know what? I don't think I tested this for silver. So let's just see. No, Ooh. it's not silver. silver. It's not silver. So I guess I did now that I think about it. Anyway, hi Cheryl. So start at five dollars for this, and let me just tell you how long it is when it is opened. I love that. I know it's a huge statement piece. One five dollars. <laughs> yeah, Cheryl's in at five. I see her there. So it is. 16 and a half inches with a three and nearly four three and three quarters inch extender fashion reclaim there she comes i'm gonna stop for, i'll be right back okay that's okay fashion reclaim is in at six dollars anybody else i need seven dollars this is a beautiful piece and it's weighty it's not Heavy, heavy, but it is weighty. But I, like I said, I haven't cleaned it or anything. I, I uh, It weighs four ounces by itself. It's 16 and a half inches. Carmen says 10. Carmen jumped in at 10. Yeah, Cheryl went seven. And, and then Carmen went 10. Yeah. Uh, it is 16 and a half inches long with a four, nearly four inch extender, three and three quarters. Hi, Vanessa. Y'all missed a really nice sterling silver ring, but my friend Bougie got it. Yeah. So, but I've, I've got some more rings. I've got some more sterling rings tonight. I've got quite a few rings, actually. I've got fashion in at 11. Yep, she's in at 11. I had to get up for a second because my dog started barking, and I didn't want that to keep oh. being in the background. <laughs> I had to put them in the garage for a little bit. Carmen's in at 12. This is Carmen, a cool I'm drinking, one. I'm drinking ginger tea. Mm. Good for your body. Ginger's good for you. Well, I have coughed so much that um, the sinus drainage is making me sick to my stomach. There's mm. Vanessa at, I mean, Desiree at 13. Okay. I'm fresh again. Mine's still lagging behind your one. Sacred Lemons. Is there somebody here named Sacred Lemons? This is actually lemon ginger tea. I cheated. Uh, instead of buying a ginger root, I just bought lemon ginger tea. I think that'll mm -hmm. work. <laughs> it's probably, and it's got a lot of ginger taste. Um, I don't do honey because of, of the carb count, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I don't, I don't drink any of my tea sweetened at all. So. So anyway, so Carmen's out. Carmen's okay, we got out. Fashion Reclaim at 13. Let's say go on once at 13. That is a beautiful piece. Yeah, the ginger is supposed to be good for your um, what? Your cold, like to fight the fight the germs and everything, and then the lemons. Um, an astringent, so it's supposed to also kill bacteria and stuff too. Good. Good. So, going twice at 13. Yeah, Fashion Reclaim. Your Onyx jewelry will go really well with that. All right, so we're going three times at 13. Anybody else? It's really pretty. All right.
it. I have sold the Fashion Reclaim for $13. So, thanks, Desiree. That's awesome. I need to learn her name. <laughs> Desiree. Desiree. All right. See ya. So, this is another sterling piece. Oh, see, guys, I have a hard time gargling because, uh, I have horrible, horrible, horrible gag reflexes. I can barely brush my teeth. And some mornings I don't make it through brushing my teeth without gagging. So I have horrible reflexes. So, guys, this is going to be is a size 7. It is sterling silver. It is also marked. It is signed. It is also Navajo. And it is signed. Um, let me make sure. It's either signed sterling and then the initials are 925. It's signed AB, and then it says Sterling under it. And it is a size 7 black onyx in this. So black onyx. Signed, it is Navajo. And I looked up the um, maker, and I believe, if I remember it, her name is Annie B-E-J-G-A-Y. Bejgay. Something like that. I can't. I don't know if I say it right. Black on is starting at fifteen dollars. All right, there we go. Starting at fifteen, guys. I'm at fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah, I love that oblong shape. Yeah. I'm gonna put it on my pinky so you can see how long it is. So it covers, and I have, but I have short fingers, so. Comes All right, down to somebody go on 16. We need somebody to go 16. Oh, wow. There's Patricia. She jumped in at 20. Okay, there we go. Thelma was at 22. Oh, Thelma's at 35. Okay. Thelma, I didn't know you were here. Hi, sweetie. So, Thelma's at $35. All right. We got Thelma at 35. Anybody going 36? It's beautiful. I Joy haven't looked at that designer, but she must be like well known. Uh, Annie Joyce Thelma already has it at thirty. There you go. Okay. Got Bab Babsy's in at thirty-six. All right. Anybody going thirty-seven? We're looking for thirty-seven. The beautiful piece. So, y'all, I'm so happy y'all are all here tonight. Mm -hmm. We got, let's see how many we got on here. 38 to Thelma. 42 people watching right now. Everybody go thumbs up. Did you hear me say what Thelma? Thelma. It's a yeah, seven. I typed it all in. All your information on the ring, I typed it in the chat. Oh. Size 7. The, her, the initials are AB, and when I looked it up, I believe it said Annie B E. J A Y or B E J G Y A Y B E J G A Y. Barbara Gay. went forty. So yeah, Barbara went forty on it. So beautiful ring. Hey guys, Anybody got forty one. That beautiful dome ring that I showed y'all the other day is coming up too. So fashion reclaims at forty one. All right. It focuses yep, that's a nice one. It goes all the way from the end of your finger to your knuckle. From this knuckle to that knuckle. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's really pretty. You saw it in the hall, 42 to Babsy. So, All right, so we'll do going once at 42. Oh, Prairie Picking Girl, honey, you need to hit your refresh because we're at $42 right now. You just bid $15. you are we are at $42. $42. You need to hit refresh. So... Tisha, hit your free refresh button.
All right, so we're going once at 42. Anybody going 43? Guys, uh, some of you, I know you. some of y'all were over at Margaret's auction with us the other night. Oops, I'm sorry, and I've lost my thingamabob. There I am. Oops. I don't know what that did. There we go. Okay. Sorry. There. There we go. Woo! There we go. Okay. Are you there, April? Oh, yeah. I'm still here. I just okay. didn't want to interrupt you. No. Anyway, what I was going to say... There are some new people that have been coming that I know they're from Texas City All Treasures. So uh, Desiree is one of those. So 42, okay, going three times at 42. And is is Desiree the one that has it, Fashion Reclaim, or is it Barbara? Barbara. 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 All right, looks like we're sold to Barbara for 42. Yay. Barbara, I think you're going to love that ring. So, anyway, so I have some very unique. I, you know, I always try to give you all unique stuff, but I, I did pick out some really pretty stuff. So, this, um, this necklace I showed in a haul yesterday, the other day. It is, I, it's signed Kenneth. Well, it's actually signed KC for Kenneth Cole. It's not really, I don't think it's Mother of Pearl, but it might, yeah, it may be Mother of Pearl. So it's really pretty. Can you see the way that shines across there? Anyway, it's on a little gold chain. Um, so, and I think I just showed y'all the pendant. The chain was not hooked to it when I was pulling it out of the box. And actually... This chain may need this chain there. It's not gold or anything. It is. It is. 18 and a half inches long started at five dollars, please. OK. Five dollars. And that one might show up good against that background, that black. OK. Background. OK. I, I'm going to put it there. Actually. I need to look here at some. Starting at five, guys. Starting at five dollars. So there goes Carmen. Thanks, Carmen, for being such a loyal. Uh, I don't want to say fan, but a loyal customer because you're so car loyal to. There we go. Let's see if how how that. Oops. <laughs> it always helps when you. Uh, there you go. Hold on to it, Cindy. There we go. It's on a really delicate little chain. Yeah, it's pretty and, chain. Uh, pretty chain. Anyway. That one looks like it could be more like the cat size stone. I'm not sure. No. no it's, and it, it has almost what looks like waves across the top of it when you mm -hmm. look on it. But here, let me see if I can turn it over and you can see the cat. You yeah, the, the KC. Right mm -hmm. yeah. So, $5. Uh, wow. Okay. All right. We're at 16 I see. Let me refresh and make sure. <laughs> That's what the last I see. So, what was that? Anybody like? 17? Um, Jay Adams asked real stone. Um, sorry. Yes, it is a stone. Sorry, that's the only way I can tell. So I wiped it off. Look, <laughs> I don't have no germs. I have to do the same thing. I mean, if what works, works. <laughs> well, you know, I I try to give everything a gentle wipe, but uh, um, I can't, you know, I can't tell just by, like, pecking it on my nail, but I can tell when it hits my teeth. There you mm. go. Whoa, it fell again. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what they're saying. It looks creamy colored. I mean, it it is a little blurry. It's hard to kind of tell, but it to me it kind of looks like the like a cat's eye, but white. I can't really pick up the mother of pearl look to it. When you look at it straight on, you can see the pinks in it. The pink, you know, that mother of pearl has that pink in it, mm -hmm. and uh, um, it's oh just okay. I think I picked up some of it just then. But you can, you can tell. I'm pretty sure it's mother of pearl. So, but I mean, I can't guarantee that because I'm not a jeweler, and but I I've seen mother of a pearl a lot, so I I'm just pretty positive. So, but Francis said it's a pearl blush moonstone, which I'm not familiar with, so I'm not sure what that is. It's awful pretty, whatever it is. Right. So, and they said maybe bring it a little bit closer. This the one thing about this camera is if you get too close, it gets starts blurring real bad. Let's see if I turn the camera down on it. Oops. Mm -mm. That didn't help at all. Sometimes uh, just like yeah, holding it like really still and letting the camera focus. That's about as good as I can get there. Yeah. So, okay, I got, there's Joyce jumping in at 17. That's what I got on mine. All Looks right, like so we have 17. Oh. Okay. Looks we'll like it's from the Kimiko Rose Collection. Uh, Carmen got in at 20 right before you said All right. going. So. All right, so Carmen at 20. There you go. So. We're going once at 20. <laughs> Something beautiful is on the horizon. That's what it says. And there is, if you could see in my little bucket here, you would know something beautiful is on the horizon. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start putting it back in the bag. It's so pretty. Going really, really two pretty. times. Whoever wins this before I send it, I'm probably going to replace this this right here because it wants to stick, and I don't want y'all to get a piece of jewelry that the that the jump ring sticks. So, thank you. I've been drinking lemon ginger tea. It really soothes my throat. So yeah, I like mugs. I drink a lot of hot tea in the winter. Right, and I, I have really sold want Carmen for twenty. Sold to Carmen for 20. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. Appreciate you, friend. Okay. So this is a fun lot, you guys. This is a Christmas lot. It's got two Christmas brooches in it and a Christmas necklace. So, and you've all seen these. If you've watched my haul, you've all seen these. So... That was your preview, so oh, I'm going to have to decide, am I going to get a haircut or am I going to let it grow? So, this is a little kitty cat, and he's a brooch, and he is not, I'm sorry, I had the hiccups. He is not signed. He is so cute. He has the texture to him. I can see his little fur. Yeah, he is textured. You can see his little fur. Kitty cat. We're going to start this lot at $5, guys. Okay. And I think this guy's a puppy. He's got a bobble head over the presents. And I think he's a puppy. But he's a weird looking little puppy. I thought he was an elf. But then when I looked, he has a body like a dog. So he's got to be a dog. And he is not signed neither. So, and he's enamel. And there are no enamel issues on him. So, and then here's this cute little rhinestone Santa. And I can't remember. Lane said six, Joyce said seven. There we go. Here's that little cute rhinestone Santa necklace. On a little silver chain. Darlene went eight. 
Elf dog. <laughs> Elf dog. Oh, that's weird. Lame. That might, lame. That might give me nightmares. Oh, yeah, it might. <laughs> that's a crazy thought. So, elf dog. So. We got toy set 10. Okay. And the necklace is not silver or anything, so. But he's so stinking cute. Little rhinestone Santa. He's adorable. So. All right. So let's see. We're at 10. We'll say going once at 10. choice going twice at 10 look how he sparkles on that black he's so sparkly and looks like Joyce got it at 10 Thank you, Joyce. Hey, guys, if you've not ever bought from me, look in the uh, description on this. I tell my uh, mailing address and all that. My mailing address, email address is cndlovin at gmail, and it will be actual shipping. So when you email me for your total, be please be sure to include your address. Some of you, if you bought from me before, more than likely I have your address already, so you don't have to send it. But just in case, I've lost it. I mean, sometimes I lose things. Okay, guys. Y'all remember this from the other day. This is a size 8 ring set. It is a 2.5 carat pink sapphire with channeled pink sapphires and rhinestones in it. There are no missing stones. This is a brand new piece of jewelry. I bought it on eBay. And we're going to start it at $15 for the set. And this is going to be really hard to see this pink. Let's see if we can do it like this. There we go. Is that going to show up? Is that pink going to show up? I get a tinge of pink. I get a light tinge of pink. 15. Two and a half carat pink sapphires with channel sapphires. Is that like pink a... Sapphire. Um, like a wedding set almost? Yes, it looks just like a wedding set, actually. Okay. Pretty. Let's see. I'm going to set it like this on my finger. Actually, we'll set it over here on this finger. It is an 8. Size 8. Okay. There you go. Oh, and let me... There. You, I see the pink there. It's a really pale, light pink, but it came. This is the bag that it came in, and I'm just going to show you. It had a sticker with it that said "Item ID: Two and a Half Carat Pink Sapphire." So I went 15. <laughs> you went 15. Yeah, it's it's size 15, and it is. On the inside, it says, let me, there it is. It'll say, I know I stuck back a thing up there. It is beautiful. Yes, it is. On the inside, it says, 10 karat gold filled. It's 10 karat gold filled. Real gold, and it's not It's not sterling. It says gold filled. Carmen, Carmen Bougie Bear was already at 15. So Carmen, you want to do 15? Now. Is the uh, band infinity like the stones go all the way around? No, they do not. Okay. The band, then that means the it can be sized. Okay. Carmen said um, Anybody going it's 20? Really hard to see. It's really hard to see, but if you see right here, you can see. Oh, I almost saw it there. Hold on. Let's see if I put that black piece. 
Okay. Come on and focus, baby. Come on and focus. Right across the top there, you can see those rhinestones. Mm -hmm. It has a layer of rhinestones on the top, the pink on the in the middle, and then another layer of rhinestones on the bottom. Wow. And it's that way on the on the band and on the um, on the uh, uh, engagement style ring. So nice. Very nice. It's a nice set. So. All right, so I went going once at 20. I'm going to hit refresh, make sure I miss it. If I go on 21. Going twice. Three times. Thank you, Darlene. Oh, Carmen, you're bidding against yourself, honey. <laughs> Carmen, you're in the lead right now with 20. You're good. All right, so I have sold to Carmen for 20. Thank you, Carmen. I appreciate you. And I am going to be sure to put this tag in that came with it so that you, you can read what it says on it. So, okay, guys, let's see. Okay, y'all, there's nothing. This is plastic, but it's just unique. And it is black leather, or I don't know that it's real leather, black corded, braided, and, and then it has this. Chinese looking carved piece of plastic that is just really nice. We're going to start this at three dollars. Three dollars, guys. It is a choker. And you said that feels like plastic, the carved yeah. part? It is plastic. Okay. It is not, it is not metal. It is not metal. Start at three dollars. But it's so pretty. It doesn't matter if it's plastic. Right. It's metal. very pretty. Look at the detail on that. Looks like Avon. You know what? There's no signature anywhere on it. None on the back. None. On. I've never seen an Avon piece like that at all. So, but Bougie Bear says three. Test Are you for the a light? No, I didn't test for bake a light. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, girls. I will, though. <laughs> Bet you I will. Here's a little simicron. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be on that. Maybe it came from somewhere else. It could be a lot older than the, the necklace itself. Are you buffering, Francis? I'm sorry. It's not buffering on my end. Is anybody else buffering? No, nope, not buffering on my end either. Just hit refresh, Francis. Maybe that'll take care of it. No, it is not Bakelite. Okay. So maybe I, did, I did not think it was because we don't have the clack. You know, I kind of recognize that clack when I hear it, but it does not have the clack. Okay. So, and here I'm wiping off the semichrome. So I just, yeah. Semichrome really cleans up that plastic very well, though, because I test, <laughs> I test stuff too, and I rarely ever find Bakelite, but it does make it shine up really good. There. Okay, Francis said a few people are buffering. On my end, I'm not buffering. I see everything just fine. I mean, we do have a little bit of, you know, cloudiness in the image, but I wasn't buffering. Oh well, maybe I am now. Hold on, guys. Hold on. You're back on my end, though. Yeah, you're back Let on my me. end. I refreshed, and it's back. There Carmen said she thinks it's lagging. Yeah, everything is a little bit blurred, but that that's her camera going in and out at times. 
See, now I see a really clear image, but I don't know. Yeah, I see a, a decent image now. Hold on just a second. Hold on. I'm going to leave this. Is anybody bid on this? You bid three. I did. Didn't I, you? I okay. gave you three already. <laughs> okay, hold on, guys. Just a second, okay? Let me see. Are you trying? Are you using? Okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, guys, no buffering. No, but I was trying to check and make sure that everything was okay here. So it looks like my internet speed is good. Oh. Yeah, Carmen says her image is good, but she just thinks she's lagging. Okay. See. Yeah, could be the weather in their locations. But I still see you the same as before. Okay. Okay, so we want to start calling it? Yeah, go ahead and call it if nobody else is bidding on it at $3. Beautiful piece. There we well, go. What? I think that's the camera. I'm not. I really liked this camera, but then sure about it yet. Now, now your voice is sounding kind of distorted from my end. My voice sounds distorted. Now it doesn't, but it just did a second ago. I was gonna say I was talking back behind this, so okay. the piece looks homemade. I don't know how it could be homemade. There's no way anybody could carve all of that. So, I mean, they could buy a pendant and put it all together. Oh, there goes Amy Finch. Okay. So, so let me do this. All right. We'll do going once at four. If anybody else wants to jump in, anybody going five? I mean, it could be hand carved, but it, it'd be an artisan that would have taken the time to do all that work. So, oh, well, I'm sure it's machine carved, but uh, oh, I'm, it looks machine carved. Yeah, it's too. Okay. It's a little bit too perfect to be. Oh, okay. There's what I'm looking for. Okay. Four. Okay, Frankie said, from time to time, both of us sound kind of distorted. Okay. I would think then that might be on their end instead of ours. So. All right, so we'll go twice at four. And that's just because I had a pen in my mouth. <laughs> but I sounded like that. Okay. Did that help any? I just turned my mobile hotspot on. and I see you. It because Aim, it's, it's good. Way. And I don't hear anything different. So, well, actually, I can. it looks better on my screen. I'm, I'm hitting around my refresh bit. But, 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 but. <laughs> do y'all ever have times when you just start trying to talk and you just can't talk so, that happens to me okay no somebody bid four dollars on it is amy oh okay amy and i have sold to amy for four dollars four dollars yeah thanks no, amy no, no. i appreciate you Okay, guys, this next lot, I think they're beautiful, and I've had these for over a year because I just love taking them out and looking at them, but it's time to let them go to a good home where they can be loved by somebody else. 
and uh, let me get them out here. I don't. I hope the I hope the computer will show the true beauty of these. They are shoot. That's me. Uh, they are faux green pearls with a metallic look to them. Three strands, unsigned, with a button box clasp. Um. They're beautiful. We're going to start these at five dollars. Okay. Starting at five, guys. Hey, Dad. Got a vintage pair of faux pearls in a green color. Five dollars. They're beautiful. Hey, there's fifty viewers here. Be sure and leave some thumbs up. Oh, I see Joyce at seven. Over there, don't I have a lane over there in the, my picture thing? Is there not a black velvet thing that you hang necklaces on? No, baby, in that tub, right next to it, right there in that tub. You see a All black. Right, that's seven. Carmen, do you want to do eight? Oh, Carmen, Carmen went in. Thank you. Yes. Say hi to everybody, Dave. Hi, everybody. There's Dave. Hi. Mm -hmm. So, that's my miracle man. That's a good, that's a good looking man. Yes, that is a good looking man. There you go. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? He's not a bit humble, neither. So, anyway. They pretty. All right, so we're going once at 10. Anybody yeah. going 11? It looks like I've twisted them up when it, in all of my looking at them and handling them. There we go. <laughs> I sometimes do that, you know. Sometimes twist things up. Uh, Going twice at 10. So pretty. So, so pretty. Oh, there's Joyce. Oh, we got Joyce at 11. All right, so we'll go once at 11. Oh, uh, nope, Carmen came back at 13. I'll give y'all a minute then. Aren't they pretty? Mm -hmm. They're just so pretty. I love beautiful things. Must be, <laughs> must be why I love Davy. He's beautiful. <laughs> I'm twisting it up even more. So I need to quit twisting on it. Thank you, Frankie. I appreciate it. Hey, Frankie, you still haven't emailed me about me helping you with an auction. Okay, Carmen. Back in the bag she goes, all nice and pretty. Going two times at 13. Nope, I didn't spell that right. I don't know how I keep uh keep trying to capitalize. Sold sold to Carmen for thirteen. Thank you, Carmen. Appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. Very good. Okay, guys, y'all's gonna remember this. This is totally, totally costume, but it is so pretty, and we're gonna start this. At five dollars. This is a size nine. Size nine. And it is that ring. And it is not an adjustable ring. Um it's plastic. It has that mottled marbled look. And I'm getting a reflection. It's so shiny. Start at five. It's so pretty. And wow. it is large. It covers Big my high ring. So I see Darlene. Yep, Thank you, Darlene, Darlene at five. So it is definitely a statement. So, mm -hmm. anybody going six? Going six on the purple ring. It's a good fall color. Yeah, that is a good fall color. 
Oh, I see Joyce. Thank There's you, Joyce, Joyce for being. Yeah. I appreciate it. I have a hard time listing the right colors for the right time of the year. I just want to list what's pretty to me. And I don't think about, oh, well, this is fall time. I need to be doing these things or I need to be doing those things. I do not think about any of that. So <laughs> I need to, though, because I look at my stuff. I'm like, no wonder this isn't selling. This isn't the time of year that somebody would wear these colors. <laughs> uh, we got Joyce at $7. Going once at 7 And let's see, going twice at seven. Three times. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. You guys ready for a grab bag? I have a grab bag coming up next. Sold to Joyce for $7. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Joyce. I appreciate it very much. So grab bag number one. I'm going to weigh it. It is in a sandwich. No, yeah, it's in a sandwich size bag. Do not pay attention if you get this and it has writing on it because... This actually came from April's auction, and it says Cindy $10 on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I keep up with it. I take my magic marker and write on there. This this grab bag weighs one pound, 5.7 ounces, so it's more than a pound. I am going to show you the outside. Um, there are a few beads, not a whole lot. There's some really pretty earrings, but I'm going to pull out a few things and show you, so... So we're going to start this at five dollars right a little enamel yellow enamel clamper bracelet with rhinestones and none of the rhinestones are missing pretty i like that this is a metal link bracelet and it is they look like that and it's kind of a brassy look an antique brassy look mm -hmm. has that india kind of look to it it does. Uh, these are little faux pearls, just a little necklace, and I don't see any kind of signature, but you know what? I didn't check some of this stuff for signatures. Hide this and that. How are you tonight, Kathleen? All right. So, so fashion went five, then Elaine came back at six. Hi, Kathleen. Uh, this is a very interesting bracelet with this um, knot like thing here and it has a toggle clasp this is a very long heavy chain necklace with a little pearl drop in it a um oh Aquarius sign necklace, and it don't want to be still long enough to see the Aquarius sign in it. As an Aquarius, I've got Joyce. There you go. Uh, these are uh, this is a multi-strand beaded necklace, and it's one of those layered ones. And I'm trying to uh, not tangle it up. There we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. There we go. Elaine, um, it makes me think of Elaine. Uh, thank you, Elaine, for bidding. I appreciate it very much. Okay. This has little bicone beads in it, and it is um, a vintage piece, gold, bicone beads. Uh, these are shells of some kind, shell circles. This has a uh, bezel cut 
uh, beads, bezel cut beads, and it's a double strand. Barbara's in at 11. And then we have Cheryl back at 12. Okay, here is another. Oh, and it come unfastened. And it's easy to fasten back together. Um, so it was just like that. Lots of pretty pieces in this bag. Yeah, there is a lot of pretty pieces in this bag. There we go. And it's like that. Very, it's... It's like Barbara says, uh, Grumpy. Speaking of Grumpy, she's not here. Um, yeah, but, you know. I'm sorry. There's Cheryl back at 12. This is one of those scarf clips, and it is sign or a shoe clip. It may be shined. It may be shined. It is sign Jerry Lou. Jerry Lou. Yeah, that's, that's a scarf sign. clip. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? That's definitely a scarf clip. I have a Jerry Lou scarf clip. That little circular <laughs> ring is where you slide the scarf through. These are really interesting. Uh, they're little wooden earrings. These are cool. There's uh, one of those. Those are clip earrings. Here's this. Uh, I think I showed y'all this. This mm -hmm. uh, choker with the mother of pearl. The not not mother of pearl, the shell, the iridescent shell on the back. Mm -hmm. I see Barbara at 13. Mm -hmm. This is a really pretty pair of earrings. This one here is signed uh, Metro 7. I've never heard of Metro 7, but I'm guessing it is a uh, a uh, non-vintage modern piece anyway it's got all kinds of elements in it shell beads cat's eye beads metal disc it's very pretty. Cheryl's at 14 Cheryl's at 14, 15. and this is one of those um tie you know what i'm talking about it clips on your collar or you oh yeah clip it yes. sweater, sweater, sweater clip you can sweater clip it so, and it's still got a tag on it from where somebody sold it in a booth, I guess. It was in a bag that I got. Anyway, let's see. I don't see my scissors or I'd cut that silly tag off. Anyway, uh, here's a pair of cream, uh, white earrings, an Aspen brooch pin. It's, a, it's not a pin back. It has a pin. Another, oh, a faux pearl earring, a great big faux pearl. Another Jerry Lou scarf clip. Pink wooden plastic, I think they're wood, earrings painted, very psychedelic. Uh, and then, oh, here's a faux pearl chain bezel set crystal, bezel set clear, um, rhinestones and then I think the rest of that is just earrings oh wait here is a pin back that is uh, when I put it in it it's made me think far out man uh, it's a little bear made me think of bougie <laughs> so, little bitty bear it was cute it was in a, a lot in that jewelry jar I got the other day so so I, that's that whole bag. $14 is where we are, it looks like. That's a bunch of fun for $14, guys. Right. So we'll do going right. once at 14 Hey, guys, y'all know, in a, and I, it doesn't bother me to say this, that uh, um, you know that uh, I always send out extra goodies anytime you buy from me. Usually I put them in one of those little pretty bags and I try to put two or three little pieces in it with a thank you sticker on it because I appreciate y'all so much and I have so much jewelry that I just, I love giving gifts. Giving gifts is one of my love languages. So um, I love to give gifts. So anyway, so 
anytime you buy from me, you might as well expect you're going to get a treat. So, mm -hmm. And I've heard that a lot of people like those. So, anyway, there's that. So, no, you do not. Nope. So, looky here. Look at the, this wasn't in that. And I can't bring myself to put it in my junk lot, but look at that big rhinestone. It was a single earring that was in a lot in a box that I got. On the back, it says MK. So, I'm guessing it's Michael Kors. I don't know. So, okay. We're at going twice. And at 14, I think is where we were. Yep. Grab bag with no show. Okay, I'll think about doing that, Thelma. I can do that completely. Let's see. That was grab bag number one. Oh, I'm so sad that Anita Fanita is not here. She's going to be so upset when she sees what's next. She must I've not be sold well. to Cheryl for 14. Thank yeah, I was wondering. Cheryl. She said she felt better in one of her videos, but I didn't see her in here tonight. Whew. Excuse me, guys. Bless you. I need to do that. Okay. So, right quick, before we do what's next, um, we're going to throw a purse in here. So... I showed y'all this the other day. This is called, if I remember right, it's called At the Movies. And it is, um, is do you call that holographic? Mm -hmm. is that what you call it? Holographic. And it is a, it's a, it has a tag in it that says relic. Cool. Relic. And we're going to start it at $5. And it is filled with papers and stuff. I haven't haven't got it out. Bougie Bear says five. I think my daughter would have fun with the bag. Listen, you tell me a while ago you didn't have you didn't even have room for purses no more. I know, but I'm gonna give that one to her. <laughs> five dollars for a relic. That bag. one looks like you know she wouldn't get it all stained up because it has that oh, plastic yeah, coating on it. Yeah, it's got um can you hear that? Mm-hmm. It's got a, a texturized, you can wipe it clean coating. So, mm. anyway, yeah, it would be a good one for a young young girl who might throw it on the she's floor. She's rough on stuff. I got her a nice one, and it was suede, and she's already got stains all over it. <laughs> okay, Joyce is in at six. I went Who's six. She? I went six. <laughs> well, look, Joyce... Look above you, above Thelma. Do you see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess it showed up on y'all's before mine. There we go. I don't know what. I wish there was some way, but I guess with everybody having different kind of internet con connections, there's no way for it to everybody to see the exact same thing at the exact same minute, is there? Yeah, it's not. That's why this works better than one because. With the want, you never know what order it's going to show up. Right. So, anyway. So, got Bougie at seven. Oh, let me measure it. It is. I've got a measuring tape here. I've got two more other purses, too, that I'm going to show. I know mm -hmm. Thelma loves purses, so I've got two more other purses. It is about 12 and a half inches wide by... Eight inches high, and the uh, what do you call this? The From drop the, of the strap. The drop of the strap is about twelve inches. Okay. So. Cheryl well, came back at eight, and then Joyce said nine. There we go. What's the pattern under there? Like it looks like there's little like it's a movie star. That's why it's called going to the movies. Oh. I must have missed that. Yeah, it's called, 
I looked it up and it's called Going to the Movies and it has uh mm -hmm. it has uh there's people that are pictures out of movies. Uh this one here almost looks like J Lo. I don't know that J Lo was in a movie. But I'm right. sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure that it said go into the movies. Dave? I don't know. I might even no, keep that for myself that. because that one won't get dirty when I'm at the thrift store either. Were you talking about? <laughs> huh? Oh, Dave said J Lo was in an Anaconda, so she may be in a movie. Okay, oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Dave, can you take whoa? Can you take this away for me since it's cold? I love that ginger lemon tea. It already does make my throat feel a lot better. So, anyway. so hey Adam here Geisha hey Geisha she also played Selena I couldn't tell you so I've got Bougie Bear at 15 she jumped on that she wanted it once she knew yeah when I heard was, about the movie so. theater thing I didn't know that was a thing too though <laughs> yeah purse um, relic going to the movies All right, going twice. <laughs> very beautiful bag. I mean, it's very unique, and I just liked it. It was a, it was a nice, nice deal. Now, relic uh, usually does leather bags. Is the handle and the the other parts leather? Well, that a tag on the like, says like you know what? I didn't even look at the. I haven't even unpacked all of this to see what. <clears throat> let's see what it says on the inside. Okay. Relic. All relic products are handcrafted from the something. I don't know. I don't see a tag that tells what the materials are. What the materials are. No, I don't see that. Okay. Um, anyway, so go in three right, times. Going twice. Go in three times. They're gonna let me have it at fifteen. They're gonna let you have it at fifteen. Thank you, Bougie. <laughs> so I'm gonna do one more purse and then I'll save a purse towards the end and this is another little relic bag and it is a crossbody and it says relic brand and um, it is snake skin and it says that and then it has this little thing that flops open that has card holders it's really little and uh, we're gonna start it at five also and uh, it has a really heavy-duty little strap so actually I want to start this one at three we're gonna start it at three so um, it's in good shape there's nothing wrong with it it's just a little bitty it is eight inches wide by five inches high and it has a drop of <coughs> 22 inches so start at three dollars. Little relic snake skin villain bag. Oh, nice. Joyce jumped to six. Thank you, Joyce, for bidding. I appreciate it. It's pro definitely long enough for crossbody. It is the purses weren't on here, right? They're not written down. No, they're not. Just had to okay. write them down. So right. Darlene Buckland is in at ten. Go, Darlene. Darlene, I think you bought, no, you didn't buy something earlier, did you? So, let's And you see. said this one's relic as well? It is. The next okay. one's going to be fossil. Okay. No, we're not doing it next. We're going to wait closer to the end. Okay. Relic. Okay. Yeah. So, That's no, pretty you didn't buy I thought you did, but you bid on something earlier, I know. So, but anyway, it's a cute little purse. Very cute. Uh, 
So if anybody has any ideas on handbag storage on how to <laughs> put them in your closet in such a way that they don't take up all the space, let me know. Hey, April, I have this thing that you hook up over the bar that mm -hmm. has little snaps and you snap the purse handles in it and then it hangs down in the closet and they all hang down in it. Oh, so, I need to see that. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to show it to you. I actually have it put up. I've been thinking about bringing it in here to hang from the ceiling so I can hang my uh, all of my mesh bags on it. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, anyway, um, I haven't. So, so let's go ahead and shut this one down. It don't look like, okay. let's see, it looks like Darlene's at 10. I'll start going once at 10. AJ yeah. Adams, welcome Some back. Boxes and things like that, and dust bags, and then I, we don't have a huge walk-in closet, so I'm running out of space for my personal purses. Too. No. Oh, I, my personal purses. I have a big bunch of shelves over my uh, dryer, and I mm -hmm. put them up there. And I, I started stuffing them after I started watching Thelma because I was <laughs> just throwing them up there. So after I started working on my cabinet stuff that she has, but I don't have any room for the cabinet. So, plus. All right, oh, so no. one. We've done a couple of purses. I don't know what you were here for last. And we did a grab bag. We'll have another grab bag. Yeah, Thelma has lots of purses. I uh, I slobber on myself when I watch Thelma's breakfast for ten dollars. So, so to Darlene, thank you, Darlene. I appreciate it. Ba, ba. Okay, purse going over there. Okay, guys, time to see if maybe Anita would show up, but she didn't. And she's going to be sad. This is lot number 12. And this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This sterling silver blue stone heart with earrings. And we're going to start this at $7. It's in a box. Okay. And it is sterling silver. And I am not sure how long the necklace is. I haven't even. And it is marked sterling on the necklace and I did test it guys because I bought it online so I always test the things I buy online no matter what they are stamped and that was one of the things that bothered me about this lot I got from this guy did I say start at seven dollars Debbie starting at seven dollars Joyce is at ten dollars thank you Joyce thank you Debbie for bidding I appreciate it Anyway, what I started to say about this guy's lot, nearly every one of the necklaces were tangled. Mm. Like, tangled. And I don't know that I'm going to be able to untangle this on, on here to measure it. But it looks fairly long. I would guess it's probably at least 18 inches. I should have thought of that before this. But if y'all had known, every time I tried my... My mom wanted me to come over today. My brother was there. And every time I tried to get away, somebody else would call. And my CPA called. And I had in my head that because we did no business last year in our corporation, that we wouldn't have to file. But we didn't dissolve our corporation until the middle of the year. So corporate taxes had to be filed today. So uh, they weren't hard for them to do because we had no business. But anyway... <laughs> But still, it was a pain. I had to get go and get things scanned and stuff like that. I can't get it. I want to. I want to. Uh, so, yes, that is so pretty. That that blue stone has almost a purple tint to it. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it is sterling. It sells it on the box, but it also says it on its little thing. And the test proved it. So it's sterling. 
Where are we at? We're at ten dollars, and I think it's Joyce that bid ten dollars. Joyce, mm -hmm. this beautiful heart. Hello. Anyway, Joyce, I'll do my best to get that untangled. Oh, face says eleven. Whoever wins this, I will untangle it before I ship it to you. It helps, like, with those fine chains. If you take one of those pins, like, for sewing, and you use the pin, I use that sometimes to get those little tiny chains apart. Yeah, there's Desiree. Desiree, did you go... Did you go eat dinner, or did you disappear on me? Did you crash? I missed you the last few lots. Joyce asked oh. the staff here, but you said is it what? Joyce said, is it a sapphire? You know, it doesn't say that it's a sapphire. And if it, if it is a sapphire, it's a lab-created sapphire. So it is not a, um, not a, a mine sapphire. Y'all, I have a beautiful ring, and I think I've showed some of y'all it. That is a mine just sapphire that came from Syria. Um, it is set in sterling silver, and mm. I, my friend that gave it to me, she's she's from Syria, and she says I don't know know why they set this in sterling. So, but it's a right. it's a a thing I promise never to sell. So, I see Faye <laughs> Robinson. So Robertson, Robertson. I don't want to say Robert Robinson. Wait, 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 wait. So it's beautiful. And it's in a nice little box. Uh, when after the auction, I wrote for the auction. I wrote number twelve. But when I'm packing it up, I'll take my. Uh, uh, I wrote it on the plastic. I'll take my uh, uh, fingernail polish remover and remove that so that the box will be presentable for gift giving if you want to give it as a gift. So. All right, so we're at 15 right now, going once. It is really pretty. Mm. Real going pretty. two times at 15. Oh, nope, we went 16. You can see I've got number 12 wrote on the, on the box, and it still has some of the sticky from the sticker. I've got to get it off, too. I was working fast. There we go. It's all off. Yay. <laughs> Get that box all pretty. See, that would be a beautiful Christmas gift. So. Oh yeah. You have any birthdays coming up? Oh, I have too many nieces and nephews to do birthdays. So. <laughs> I do Christmas, but not birthdays. Oh. So. My brother has five kids. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I have two nieces. I see it. But I have a lot of cousins. Like, my cousins have a lot of children. Three times at 16. Is my friend Vanessa still here? And Francis, are y'all still here? Please say hi. Oh, my gosh. I want to come dig sapphires. I've heard about that. I want to come dig sapphires. I've gone to the Arkansas Diamond Mine, sold to Faye for sixteen dollars. Yep. Thank you, I've Faye. Sold. Faye Robertson. Be sure when you email me, Faye, with to get your total that you include your mailing address because it is actual postage. So if you there's Vanessa, because we talked about this ring, Vanessa. Um if you live outside of the U.S., it's actual shipping, and Canadian shipping is very expensive. Okay, guys, this is a size 8, and it is that gold curved pave, dim, uh, pave rhinestone, I'm going to say. I don't think it's diamonds. Mm -hmm. It is marked on the inside. What did it say? I can't remember what it said. We're going to start this at 7. Started at seven and it is size eight. It is a size eight. And it says hmm. 
Uh, well, it says in Vanessa said ten. O N. And I do know that I tested this. This is not sterling. Hmm. Eleven Tina Latest Grace. Hi Tina. Isn't that beautiful? That is a beautiful ring. Mm-hmm. It's totally different. different. Unique. Absolutely beautiful. It is We're at beautiful. 11. There are no missing rhinestones in it. You know, I'm not sure they're not Swarovski crystals because there was a piece in there that was crystal. These have got some major sparkle to them. And, and it doesn't... Can you see how that sparkles when I move my hand? I do see it sparkling. That has some major sparkle in it. You got Vanessa? It is a size, it is a size 8. Yes, it, it does look like pave. But it has some other pretty the it's it's the rhinestones that are sparkling. It's not really the metal that is sparkling. So very pretty. Very, very pretty. Vanessa's at twelve. This is a beautiful ring. Yeah. I think I have one more sterling silver piece coming up that is a toe ring, actually. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, as far as rings, I don't know. I found have a 10 ring the other day. I was like, I would not wear 10 karat gold on my toe. <laughs> I'd be worried I'd lose it. So, Joy's happy birthday one week early. So. Anyway, that is pretty. So we got going once at. And I keep looking. When I see it in the camera, it almost looks like there's one missing. But I don't. It's not. There's not one missing. I think it's just me seeing it through the through the light. There's nothing missing on it. So it is beautiful. Yeah, but, um, Vanessa's at 12. Going once. We'll do going twice. And it is a brand new ring, so it was purchased as a brand new purchase. So it is beautiful, isn't it, Kathleen? Oh, there goes Joyce. She thinks she needs that for her birthday. <laughs> Vanessa. <coughs> I'm sorry guys hold on it's time for water for some reason tepid water seems to help that better rather than cold cold yeah warm's usually more soothing Okay, start 14. You're starting your count. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was supposed to be oh, going on. Oh. My mind's been wandered. Cindy, I'm sorry. You're fine. <laughs> but yeah, it's supposed to be going once at 14. Hey guys, while I'm thinking about it, I just want to give you a couple of announcements. Tomorrow at 2 o'clock on April's channel, is that correct? Um, I Texas. think we're going to do it on mine, yeah, because I have to show him how to do the uh, hangout thing. On April's channel, they're going to have an auction with Casey. He's, I think it's going to be a, a smaller auction, but they're going to have an auction for Casey. Um, he, uh, um, getting his feet wet on this. And then Thursday night again, me and Margaret are doing another one. So I'm going to help Margaret with another one. So 
but it's going to be a shorter one. She says she can't do that three hours. Her boys keep wanting the, their her, their mama. So anyway, so I watched it last week. This week I might jump in and buy some things from her too. Sold fourteen dollars to Vanessa. Yep, to Vanessa. Okay. Uh, Casey is uh, Carmen. It's tomorrow at two o'clock, and that will be is that Eastern time or Central Standard? Yeah, we're on Eastern time, so we'll do it around two o'clock. Maybe get started at two thirty. We'll see how that goes, and okay. it'll be on my channel, and we'll do some things. And I'll try to be done in at least an hour or two with this yeah. one because we're going to be on Carla's channel for her hangout, and we're going to play a, a charades or Pictionary. I think it's Pictionary. We're going to play on her channel. Okay. Yes, Carmen, it is with Geisha Treasures. So, I see. So, okay, guys, y'all, we had huge discussions about what this was. Uh, I actually asked on the Native American group I'm in, one of them, and they um, they said they believe it is white highlight. And when I went and looked at all the white highlight pieces, I believe it is white highlight also. This thing is two and a quarter inches long. It is not Native American, even though that's where I asked about it. Uh, and it weighs two ounces. It's pretty heavy. And it, it is this piece that we talked about whether or not it was white buffalo or not. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember this piece? I do. So they think it's how light, not like a marble or anything. Yeah, they said they they're sure it's white uh, white highlight. And when I looked, everybody, it looks a lot like the white highlight. So, and it has the sun on the back and magic mushrooms. If you can see the mushrooms on the back, <laughs> and uh, that's what somebody told me today. And we're gonna start this because it is a nice piece. We're going to start this at $7. Okay. It is a pendant only. $7. Yes, we'll be there tomorrow, Geisha. Start at 7 Isn't it beautiful? It is really beautiful. It could be worn on a, a leather chain, a leather band. It could be worn on a, on a chain, a big chunky chain. It could be worn on anything. It is so pretty. Woo! Thelma says 10. All right. Thelma's in it. No. Oh, Vanessa's in it 10. Oops. Sorry, Thelma. There, Amy's, Amy's at. Whoa. You're going to have to keep up with that. There you go, April. That's okay. Amy came back at 12. Okay, Thelma said 14. And then fashion went 15. Joyce said 17. Oh, Carmen said 22. Beautiful piece. I don't think. Maybe I can. No, no. Okay, guys. I'm just hanging it from that. Just, it's just so pretty. I wanted to put it on this cord to show you, but... I don't have a jump ring on it in the uh, cord. It's too big to go through the thing. So, ooh, let's try this. Uh, okay, no. so going once at 22. It is beautiful. I did some research on it. Oh, Fashion Reclaim, there she comes. Okay, I did some re research on it to make sure that it was not Native American. Uh, it is not silver or anything, uh, but it is it is such a beautiful piece. Carmen said twenty seven. Just gorgeous, very heavy, very substantial. It makes it very interesting with that design on the back. I know. It made me laugh when that lady said, oh, look, it's a sun and magic mushrooms. And then I looked at the back and I thought, 
Oh my gosh, those do look like mushrooms. So much. Right. So, right. I thought they were flowers, but I think they may be mushrooms. So they could be. So, Weird, anyway. but mushrooms don't usually grow in the sun. They grow in the shade. Exactly. They grow up under <laughs> dirty, rotten trees. So, the sun actually dries them out and kills them. Let's see. We're at 27 for Carmen, so we'll do going once. So I guess if they're magic mushrooms, they may grow wherever. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> when they say magic mushrooms, they mean psychedelic mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a 90s baby. I remember all the talk about that. <laughs> well, I mean, I was born in the 80s, but I lived through the 90s. Oh, in my teenage years. You got fashion back in. All right, fashion at 28. All right, Carmen All right, said 30. 30. Looks Irish. Looks Irish. -ish. Irish. You know, I, I just could never. The, on the Native American group, I asked, did anybody think it was Native American? I really didn't, but that white pendant just threw me off. Sandy really thought it was white buffalo, but when you look and compare white highlight to this, it really looks like it. So, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. The white buffalo black part, instead of the just the veins, though, you'll have like circular, chunky looking black places in there, too. But it really does look like a nice marble almost, you know, like your countertop that you can find. Been looking at a website that sells Native American jewelry, and I really checked out some white buffalo. I really wanted to buy some this weekend, but I didn't. I was good. <laughs> So, okay, Are, we've had going once at 30, is that At right? 30, I'll do going twice at 30. Okay, very unique. Thank you, Carmen. Going three times. And sold to Carmen for 30. Thank you, Carmen. I appreciate it very much. Oops. I forgot to put it back in this little thing. There we go. Okay. This one here is... It's on a stainless steel chain, and it's set in stainless steel. And it is new. And oh, I'm on the wrong thing. I had the wrong tag in it. I'll have to find the other tag. It uh, I the tag for it is probably in another bag. I'll have to see. And it is a heart, but it is on stainless steel. It is a heart, and it has a round. Swarovski crystal in it, and I do not think we're going to pick up the brilliance of this. But if you lay it to the side, it is a heart. It forms a heart on the side. Can you see that? And then the crystal, there we go, is like so. A little higher. Yeah. There we go. I'm trying to lay it back so you can see the crystal better. So it's like a heart-shaped cage that the crystal's in? Yeah, it's like a little heart-shaped cage. Cool. And you can only see the heart shape from the side of it. You don't see it looking straight on at it. There, there's. Anyway, we're going to start this at $5. Okay. And I'm just, there we go, $5. There goes Barbara. Beautiful. I don't think it's going to. Oh. All right, we're at six dollars, Amy. Let me hit refresh. Very large. It is a nice size.
crystal there. If I had calipers, I'd measure it, but I don't have calipers. So that's one of those to tools I that. need. <laughs> oh, there yeah. we go. I can see it clearly. Oh, did you there at one point? Mm -hmm. Of course, I would. There we go. <laughs> and we got Barbara at seven. I'm with you, Amy. I love sparkles too. There's Anita. You're not too late. We've got some things to go. You're a little bit late, but we. I'm sorry I done sold the blue set. Uh oh. I hung around for you, but I was. I just. I had it on my list. So, but I still have some more heart stuff. Don't worry. And I we missed have, you, Anita. Still have some more sterling silver things too. Going once at ten. Sorry, guys. I know that's disgusting, but it's better than me letting it drip down off my nose. So. And this is the heart-shaped barrel pendant. It's on. Uh, it's on stainless steel. It's not silver. I have no idea where we are, but I'm sure you do, April, because you are on top of it. <laughs> we are at ten dollars, and that was Joyce going once. Very good. Going twice. Anybody want to go higher than ten? Now you can see the little heart real good, can't you? Let's see, my hair is wonky, wonky. So. Yeah, I'm getting the shape of the heart there. Mm-hmm. All right, three times. And let's see. I've sold to Joyce for ten dollars. Thank you, Joyce. I appreciate it very much. I will do my best to try to find the original uh, orange tag that came with it. That one's not it. So, okay, guys. Next up is I, it was a pendant knot. Is a beautiful Monet pendant, and we're going to start this at five dollars. Okay. And it is right at two and three quarters inches long. Probably would have helped if I'd have shined it up, but I didn't shine it up. Right back here it says Monet. And I don't know that it will ever focus enough to for you to see that, but we'll see if it will. I don't think so. Anyway, I promise it says Monet. I would never fib to you. You know that. But just because I'm paranoid and I want to make sure that I know Monet, it does say. Let's see if I can do it like this. It's just because it's a little pixelated and I don't think it's going to focus on that. But I do see this this cartouche, the rectangle. Yeah, I can see. On. There we go. It says Monet. I saw it that time, but anyway, it's just a little silver tone pendant. It? It's a nice, nice one. And I like that. From what I hear, from what I hear, silver tone is not just a real popular thing in Monet jewelry. Yep, you find you tend to find more gold tone than silver tone in the Monet. So we're going to start this at five dollars. Yes. Mhm. Mm I'll go five on that. Uh, oh, Cheryl beat me to the punch. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody going six? I don't want to say cool it. It's a cool design. That, that one would sell really well on a long chain. Grooves and uh, Ow, 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 ow. Hold on, yep. guys. 
I have these rare earth magnets, and I keep them over here, and two of them just pop together. And, oh, a pinch. Uh, so, oh, pinch. Yeah, right with my finger in between them. So, ow. I, <laughs> I was saying, ow, 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 ow. Yeah. So, let's see. Here, how about this? Let's try this. Okay, I believe this one is silver tone. I can't, my, 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 sometimes my lighting makes me wonder if it's silver tone or gold tone. Oh, so, I definitely picked I definitely up the silver tone. Are you talking about a chain? Um, yeah, I'm talking about the chain. Oh, okay. See, I put it in the chain there. I'll include this chain. It's like one of those uh, little. Yeah, it looks great on that one. Silky chains. That's pretty. I'll include the chains. So, oh, there goes Faye. She wants it for six. So Monet with a non-Monet chain, but I we don't. got seven. I I have not come across a Monet silver chain. You know, when I find the things that I find. So, so anyway, I'm sure it'd be hard to find a Monet chain anyway. It has a, to me, it has kind of a modernist look with the, uh, the, the geometric series, shape. Of the geometric and the cutout. Oh, there's Treasured Vintage. Yep, there you go, Angie. <laughs> I'm sure Angie's got a silver Monet chain for that. <laughs> so, okay, let's go. They're, they're getting with it now. Uh, so, and it is silver tone, definitely. I'm I'm including the chain. The chain is not Monet, but the brooch is Monet. Thelma guys, twelve, Francis thirteen. Angie, you want to go fourteen? Uh, hold on. Angie went fourteen. 14. Thelma, you want to go fifteen? Um, I did not do any research on this, and I may regret it, but that's okay. You, if if I miss something that I should have been paying attention to, then it's my fault. So I see fifteen. Yep, Angie's at fifteen. Actually, Angie already had it at fifteen. She has that book, so she knows. <laughs> she knows something we don't know. Oh, Thelma's at sixteen. Francis went 17. Okay, thank you, Debbie. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Debbie. This book? This yeah, book I think that's, that's the one she's got. got to. I'm so jealous of y'all because I'm a cheapskate. I haven't bought these books yet. I'm just going to have to break down and do it. <laughs> uh, I want that one. I want the Avon one. I want the... Um, in the Napier one, I want that no, one. The Napier one. The Napier one actually scares me to death. If you've not seen the here, it's really thick, it. right? It's like huge. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. On once at seventeen. Yeah. Just a little thick. Yeah, it's like a dictionary. <laughs> freaking encyclopedia and how much is that on amazon i don't i bought mine directly from her website when she oh, okay. came to margaret's group and offered it for 65 dollars. that's what i bought mine for oh yeah it hurt my feelings to pay 65 dollars for a book mm -hmm. but my god it is awesome beyond awesome it's just I bet it is. I'm just going to, you know, my birthday is November. So, you know what? That's my birthday <laughs> present. <laughs> hey, hey, let's, let's just tell uh, Tyrone your birthday is November. So yeah, we, we need to tell him Napier book. <laughs> We're at 18. Angie going once or going twice? Going, I don't lost my place. Yeah, going once, not twice on 18. Okay. Now we'll go twice. That book weighs nine pounds. Wow. And some ounces. Nine wow. pounds. That book is awesome. 
but it and it comes with a, a CD or a DVD one. I can't remember which that mm -hmm. uh, that you can watch. And I, I just can't. It's just like it overwhelms me. I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So anyway, so but yeah, I got Angie at eighteen sold. sold. Thank you, Angie. I appreciate it. So. Eighteen dollars. I have some uh, like the fabulous fakes, and I have some antique books that go over certain pieces of jewelry, but none that are completely dedicated to one designer. Well, I I bought this one when the girl was on Margaret's group, and Margaret reviewed the book, and then I saw Angie review. Saw Angie review this the. Um, Monet book and I bought it and then I bought they were talking about on a on a group they were talking about um, this book the jewelry the jewelers directory of gemstones oh I don't have that one and so when I went to order it this wasn't the cover that they were showing the cover mm -hmm. that they were showing was a little bit older and this is the brand new one that just came out. Uh, cool. In when did it come out? It was first published in two, 2006, and it was, has been republished, I think, in 2017 or this year. Anyway, so it wasn't real expensive, but it wasn't real cheap neither. So, so that one goes into next more lot. detail about how to identify the gems. Yeah, it, it has a bunch of stuff in it. The next lot is silver tone brooches, and I think there's three or four. I can't remember. And one of them is signed Trafari, and these are all silver tone. There are four of them, okay? This first one is silver with red enamel, and it's like a charm brooch, and it has a heart, a bag with hearts, red hearts. Mm -hmm. This one is the one that is signed Trafari. And let me just make sure. It does have a crown. It's a little hard to see, but it does have a crown. And it is. Oh, that's a pretty one. one. All silver tone. And it is uh, a little over three inches long. This one here is not signed. It is the piano with the note keys. Cute. White enamel, white and black enamel. And this one here is, it looks like a P. If you wear it straight up and down, it looks like a P. But if you wear it this way, it just looks like a ribbon. And it's rhinestone filled. And it is not signed. And we're going to uh, start this at five. Start okay. This lot at five. There's four brooches in it. Five dollars. Shipping is the actual cost of shipping, so five dollars. Five dollars. I also got this book when I uh, when I ordered the uh, the uh, um, first gemstone book. I got this one that is Smithsonian's hand book. I have a gemstone. Smithsonian. Yeah, mine's like a larger book. But I like it better than that little pocket gemstone identification book that I have because the other one I have mostly just tells like what, you know, this is a this kind of stone or this is the that. But when it comes to being in jewelry, it doesn't really specify how you can tell. Right. Well, one of the things I like about this book is it breaks it down into colors too. Cheryl at 10. Stones that color by colors. Okay, so, yeah, good too. I like that. So anyway, of course, I've not had time to sit still and look at any kind of a book lately because of all the me either. Up. I've been out at estate sales and stuff too much. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, it can be a P. It looks like a P to me, or it can be just a ribbon. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I love this. This is Crown Trafari. Really pretty. I really love bar. that one. There you go. It is so pretty. Like a bar pen style. Yeah, long. Really pretty. 
look lovely on a hat. That one would. Ooh. Definitely. All Good. right, so we're at Barbara Eleven. Yeah, a Good black hat. hat. Or yeah, you could wear yeah. it in your hair. Yeah, that's pretty. Hi, Julie. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> This time it's me selling my, my stuff. I, April's my caller, so welcome to my channel. So this is a four brooch lot. We've got this one with the hearts and the enamel. We've got this crown tafari. We've got this black and white enamel piano brooch. And we've got this ribbon or letter P, whatever you want it to be. So anyway, hold on. So, guys, leave a thumbs up if you haven't already. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So, and come check out my channel, too. <laughs> yes, also, Bougie Bear Vintage. And I meant to write your channel in my description. I'll have to add that later. So, anyway. People so, are like, she doesn't even make videos very often, I bet. <laughs> I know I keep trying to get my uh, viewers up, but it's my own fault for not making enough videos. I just don't seem to find the time to get on there that much. Julie, do you have a channel also? How to Fail Selling Jewelry? I subbed you. Oh, Julie has a channel. Now let me go to Julie's and check that out. Yeah. Well, it's not letting me click on it. Usually it lets you click on people's names and go to their channel. Uh, there we go. We subscribed. Oh, uh -huh. that's funny. I just subscribed to Babsy again. I may have just unsubbed to you, Julie. I mean, uh, Babsy, I'll have to go back and check and make sure because I thought I was already subbed to you. So, anyway, so guys... Are we done with this one? Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? You know what? I don't know if there's a book on listener. Angie, if you're still here, do you know? Is there a book on listener pieces? I have done something to me. I've done sub to you, Frankie. I have done sub to you. Guys, Frankie has... Oh, Mary Pelletier is in here. Mary, am I saying your last name right? I got to thinking, I might be saying that wrong. Is it Pelletier? Or am I saying it Louisiana style? <laughs> yeah, mine are still acting up. I'll I'll resubscribe you if I unsub. Yeah, my allergies are still acting up. I, it's moved down into my chest and I'm coughing like crazy. I have coughing fits now. So I won't unsubscribe you, Babsy. So Pelutier, Pelutier. Okay. See, I was sure that it was Pelete because I I lived too close to Louisiana for so long. Pelete. So Pelutier, Pelutier. Okay. Mary Pelutier. So I have sold to Mary for twelve. Sold to Mary for twelve. Yay, Mary. I think that's your first one tonight, ain't it, Mary? I think so. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, if y'all have not noticed, there's a theme about how my jewelry goes. And if you've not noticed this, there it's, I sell a lot, hell a tear. Okay, gotcha. I have uh, one question I want to make sure before we go any further. The sure. second handbag that you sold, I have the price wrote down, but I apparently didn't write the name. It's Darlene Buckley. Okay, it was Darlene that got it. Okay, all right. That was the only thing I had. Okay, so this is seven pairs of silver tone earrings. My my personal jewelry is mainly silver tone. So, do what do I have on? Oh, I have kitty cats on tonight. Here, let me pull them off and show them. And they're actually brass. I have my kitty cats on tonight. So, see, aren't they sweet? I love kitty cat earrings. So, anyway, now let's see if I can get them on with one hand. Get it back in with one hand. Oh, I did it. I'm doing good. Okay, so here is a pair of silver tone with 
a black ring on the outside. These are all, no, they're not all pierced. These are mostly pierced. And, okay, this one here is one of those, um, it can be a clip-on. And then this folds up. And this goes in it. And it's a. I have pair. a pair. Is that Premier Designs? Because that's the only brand I've ever found that does that. Yes, they are Premier Designs and they are signed. Mm hmm. Down in the middle. So, anyway, and here's the other uh, one of them. Here's the other one of them. So, they're either or. Let me see. Now, watch me. I've got an earring caught inside of it. So, I'm sorry. I'm just being a bumbling dummy here tonight. So, let's see if I can do this right or not. Okay. Let's unfasten you, earring. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here's a little pair of silver tone hoops with the little ball on them. We've got seven pairs of earrings. We're going to start this at $5, okay? Okay. These have a little pink stone in them. Those with the little fold-up thing. And they are Premier. These here are Avon, and they are clip, and they're really pretty with this filigree design. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, cute. And they are clip, Avon. Mary's at five. And then these are a little pair of rhinestone. Let me get my finger back there so it I have something to, a little pair of, Rhinestone, three three little rows of rhinestones. Let's see if I lay that on there, if that'll show up better. Or <clears throat> see if I can get a hold of it. Anyway, it's a clip-on. There we go. That ought to do me. There we go. There. Can you see that? Anyway, it's a little pair of Rhinestone clips with three rows of rhinestones. And these are really neat. These are actually silver tone and gold tone because they're a silver tone hoop with a little green stone, faux stone, green rhinestone that is like a package. And it's got, and the package wrapping is gold tone around it. Cute. And they are hoops with a little dangle. See if I can hold that dangle up. I could never do be a QVC shower, could I? I'm so clumsy. There we go. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, so and the last one. Hold on, my my thing jumped up. There we go. And the last one are these little um, sparkly. Silver tone, gold tone, glittery studs, ball studs, and uh, there. Not what I'm looking for. Uh, it's missing a back. I'm looking for a back. I've always got backs floating around here somewhere. Anyway, so did we start? Where are we? We're at ten dollars on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine's, but I was having to refresh mine. It took a second, but yeah, we're about, Barbara went 10. Okay, so we'll do going once at 10. Of all these little baggies that have all these little parts in it, I should just combine it all to one baggie and not have 101 parts. <laughs> there we go. That'll work. Actually, wasn't there one of those over there? There's one. There, I found one. I don't like. Now, I think in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, uh very interesting. I, I think in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, grab bags, there may be earrings that don't have backs in them. I can't remember. I was going through fashion. I was doing a barb. I was just reaching in and grabbing. So, one, two, three, four, five, 
Spade at six, 11. And seven. Seven so pairs one, of silver Tony rings. Barbara said 12. Barbara said 12. I'll give them a little time. I'll go check out your video screen when the auction's over. Subscribe to you. Who are we talking to? Frankie? Frankie. Yeah, that she goes. Is Frankie a girl or a guy? No, I'm is Frankie a, a girl or a guy? I was thinking it's a lady. Let me go check again. Double check. I mean, it doesn't matter. Frankie, are you a girl or a guy? <laughs> it don't matter one way or the other. I just think. Bougie Francis. <laughs> so, are we at going twice, going once at 12? We're going twice at um, 12. I think it was 12. Uh, yeah, it was Don't 12. See, I like... I like blingy so much my ink pens are even blingy. You're a girl. Okay. Thanks, Frankie. Okay, yep. I was thinking if you were a boy, you probably would have spelt it with a Y, but I'm like. All right. So that's sold to Barbara for $12. Is that Babsy Barbara? Mm-hmm. Okay, Babsy Barbara. So I'm going to ask you all your, your opinion. Oh, what would you guys do with this? Let's see what we got. Look at this beautiful rhinestone necklace. Look at Ooh, it. Hey. Got beautiful. Look at the, the clasp. See right oh, there? It's one of those. Oh, okay. Can you, can you, can you get a pin in there to solder it back or? Uh, well, see the pin. Yeah, the pin goes on this one. So I don't know. It's so pretty. I hate to just throw it in a rhinestone lot to use it as harvest, but I don't know. Okay, grab bag time. Grab bag time. Let's see how much this one weighs. This is the second grab bag and the last grab bag, guys. So uh, we still have some sterling silver coming up and a Christian Dior brooch. So don't get tired yet. This one is one pound, 10 ounces, one pound, 10 ounces. And I'm going to show you some things in it. So, okay. There is a little necklace. Has a little spot on the back of it. It's Dirt. Yuck. I thought it was rust. I was going to say, oh no, it's rusty. I'll take it out. A little necklace. A little bib style necklace. This is cute. A big white pendant on white beads and it is vintage. It is not signed, but it is vintage. You can tell that by the beads and you can tell it by the fastener. It is nice. We're going to start this at $5. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ryan, yes. just a plastic marble looking black and green bracelet. Oh my gosh. This guy's right here is one of those um, heavy, heavy necklaces with all the metal beads and all that. And it's all wrapped up. And it is, when I say heavy, a pair of silver tone. Uh, square earrings. We got Fashion Reclaim at eight. This right here is really interesting. And y'all may remember when I hauled this. Um, okay, it, it's doubled and that's how it fastens with a little hook like that. That mm -hmm. almost looks like Vaseline glass. And it is glass. Yeah, they're glass beads. So that's really interesting. I threw that in there. 
uh, a little, that's a little, just a little black fashion link thing on my bob necklace. Okay, I'm checking, make sure there's no, okay, no missing rhinestones in that. A, a gold tone brassy bangle with rhinestones. A real stone, I don't know what kind of stone it is, but it is real. One pound and ten ounces. These are beautiful. I call these cranberry beads. I don't know what they are, but look at the color on that. Can mm -hmm. you see that? Pretty. And they're vintage. They're vintage. They are also very heavy. Uh, a little bow necklace. Um, um, this one here is a really long gold tone black and gold bead necklace triple strand and it looks a lot like some of those ann taylor loft ones like uh i bought from sandy but it's not marked it's pretty oh my gosh this one here jingle -ling -ling. yes <laughs> and it is marked china I dropped my thing. Yep. Right. Honey, there who are you coming with that one on? <laughs> this one here is real stone chips. Um, I'm not real sure. There's Tiger's Eye. I think the green may be adventuring. Not sure what this right here is. Rose quartz, maybe. Um, but I see Tiger's yeah, Eye. Um, I see Tiger's Eye. This, the, the green looks like maybe adventuring. Uh, anyway, and uh, has a barrel class. It's a little necklace. Real stone. Okay, a handful of earrings. Oh, there's a bracelet too. So, okay. <laughs> These little things are clip-on, and they're earrings, and they're sweet. They're not marked. These are really nice. Cheryl went 15. These are little gold tone, little danglies. This one here is a comfort clip, white enamel. And I see no signature on them. They need cleaned, I can tell you that right now. Uh, this is a faux pearl dangle with a stud, a dangle from a stud. This here is faux pearl with enamel and rhinestones around it. This here is faux pearl with a clock, a faux clock. Cute. There's a, a steam funk here. Little dainty gold tone bracelet. The comfort clip is like the back that you see on those Monet earrings. They're kind of curved like this, like a, they have a curvature to them so that they don't just like smash up against the back of your ear, I guess, or pinch your ear. Here, see that it's like a wire comfort clip. It's real, just a, a little thin wire. Oh, that, I thought the comfort clips with the, with the spoon kind of look on ones like on the Monet earrings. They may be. I may be calling this wrong. What What do you call these? I would. I don't. I wouldn't know the name for that one. Um, I'm used uh, to okay. seeing those more on pierced backs. Yeah, they, that they feel like that's the same kind of a, a back that goes on that Premier, but it's just mm -hmm. different. Doesn't have the right. piercing, the clip. Maybe it could be a comfort back for a pierced earring, like that. See, that's cool. That's a cute little necklace with the enamel and the little flapper thingies. So a mega back. I knew I had heard that. Thank you, Nikki's World. Okay. Hey, cool. my friend, you've okay, not cool. been around in a while. 
you pop in and pop out so quick i don't hardly ever get a chance to see say hi to you so um anyway so that is the things that are in that bag for um, once at 17. nikki how are you doing are you still doing low carbon I posted on my Facebook page yesterday a picture of my progress. I'm down 36 pounds, between 35 and 36 pounds. Uh, it's really starting to show in my clothes. The pair of jeans I wore to church yesterday, I shall not be wearing them again. The time I got home, they were halfway down my backside. Because <laughs> well, that's a good so, thing. That is a good thing. I did order me two new pairs of jeans, so in a size smaller so i keep anyway. cheating on mine i'd lost 11 and started cheating oh well, there we go there's uh got 18. there they go carmen's in at 20 i see so cheryl's was 19. grab bag y'all I, I love making grab bags but uh, uh Oh, there's Cheryl at 21. Go, Cheryl. Everybody, I love for everybody to buy things. I want everybody to have fun and buy some things. So, I have a, a, some more Monet. After we do this one, we're going to do, do my last purse, okay? 21, 21. 23. Carmen went 23. Well, I'm 53 years old, and y'all know I've told y'all that when I started this, I was at 330 pounds, and I am now at 294, and um, I have no plans ever of going back to 300 pounds. I was doing um, I was doing Weight Watchers when my son died nine years ago, and I kind of derailed after he died, and uh, I went back up, and so anyway i know it's really kind of embarrassing to say hey i weighed over 300 pounds especially when i'm five foot two now i'm very well packed and a lot of people did not know that i weighed over 300 pounds because i am very well packed in here but um i'm carrying it <laughs> in my belly and in my booty so and that's what people tell me they said oh no way you weigh what you weigh and i'm like yeah i do <laughs> it's um, just the way you carry it some people carry it in different ways well you know one of the things since I've gone low carb that I found is when I eat carbs now they make me feel bad so mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah you can tell the difference between a meal that is actually filling and healthy and then one that weighs you down and makes you feel tired and because that's okay. the difference that I feel when I eat bad foods you know like have some pizza or something like that so and the place that i can tell it the most and i imagine y'all probably can too is in my face I've, i'm losing my chin oh yeah i can I, tell I, in your face <laughs> i was like holy moly i gotta find me some skin tightening cream <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway i know i'm funny so okay what did what do i have next Okay, grab bag. Are we sold? We're not quite sold. Not I was quite giving up a little chance. I might go in twice. I'll do three times. Lose the belly, but keep the booty. Right. <laughs> you think I look for it like Leslie Ann Warren from the original Cinderella? I'm going to write that name down. I've never heard of her. Guys, I don't watch old Carmen for seven. I do not watch TV uh, or movies. I'm not a movie fan at all. Uh, that Warren, yeah. Um, and I'd I'd rather read a book any day of the week. My phone just is something. I'm making sure what it just did. So, guys, I just want to say this: twenty-seven dollars to Carmen. Uh, I do have an eBay channel, uh, an, an eBay store, and it is Cindy Loves Jewelry, just like my YouTube channel. So, um, 
Yeah. How old was your daughter, Belinda? The 1957 Cinderella. So, guys, this purse is has a magnetic closure here. It closes right here with magnetic. It is canvas, and it has a fossil tag in it. It is very long. Let's see. It is... 13 and a half inches long by 13 and a half inches wide with a drop of, I don't know how to do a drop. Anyway. Yeah, you just hold the strap up and measure from there to the. From here to here? Yeah. Well, yeah, just okay. from there to the ring where it attaches to the purse. Oh, okay. I got you. As a drop of nine and a half inches. So, okay. this is what it looks like. It has the fossil key on it, and it's done in a tortoise shell. Oh, cool. It has a tortoise shell ring. You know what? I did not check these. I don't think, uh, no, fossil's not old enough for it to be Bakelite. So, anyway, and it has all of these little flowers on it. We're going to start this bag at $10. Okay. So it's a, a, a mossy green canvas. This is the bottom. The bottom is in really good shape. It's not not in bad shape. Start at ten dollars. Nineteen when she passed in May, she would have been twenty in July. My son passed in two thousand and nine. He was fourteen years old. So in January of two thousand and nine. So so ten dollars. We're gonna start this bag at ten dollars. Anybody want it? It's really, um, it's really, it gives me a vegan vibe almost. It says made in China. I see like boho style, sort of. Actually, yeah, boho, faux hippie, actually. Yeah. So. It's like an earthy, boho-ish. It's got this, uh. I guess it can't be vegan because it's got a leather. Stuff. Yeah. Vegan right. just really means made from like plant material. Right. And, and it's got magnets here that closes it. Anyway, nobody wants it for ten, to start at $10. $10. We'll start it at seven then. Let's start at seven. Okay. Go. Anybody want this bag at seven? Kind of hippie, boho -y. Thank you, Lena. And Lena, I, I've watched yours. So seven dollars starting on this bag at seven dollars. So Ooh, my hair. No interest at all. Okay. Oh, Carmen says seven. I'm going to refresh because behind, I think. Um, this, this bag, I'll be able to fold up and put into a large priority <laughs> envelope. So. Okay, so we'll do go on once at seven, see if anybody else is interested. Go on one. I, I put go on seven. <laughs> You're doing good. That's okay. Something's wrong with me tonight. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Going twice. The nice bag. Where's nice? It, it just feels nice. I love the key. I really do love the key. So. Yeah, the key. And I like the flowers on it too. Somewhere that has the key on it. Huh, I wonder where it is. Your feet is so off. Lena, hey guys, Lena has a channel and she makes videos. I've watched your videos, Lena. Oh my gosh, my nose. All right, I have sold the car. Okay, Barbie Crafts, I'm going to look her up. I am going to look her up. 
Okay, guys, we're getting close to to the end. I don't have a whole lot, but I still have sterling pieces, and I still have a Christian Dior brooch, but it's not in this bag, okay? These are three gold tone brooches. This one here is um, signed T-A-R-A, -A, Tara, which is an older company. Mm -hmm. and I guess you could wear it either way, but I like it better this way with the faux pearl. This one here is a beautiful little bow, and it is not signed. There you go, with the rhinestone in the center, rhinestone channel there in the center. We're going to start it at five, okay. and then... Y'all know we had the silver tone and enamel piano. Here is the gold tone rhinestone piano brooch. And these are baguette cut rhinestones. Start at five. Five dollars on this. Yes, I learn I've learned so much from Thelma. I learned a lot about purses from Thelma. So So five dollars. Are you? Oh, on Thel to Thelma. Yeah, Thelma is really good at posh. I don't sell very much on posh. I have a posh, but I don't sell very much on there. So mine has died off in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I need to list some things on there see if I can get it going again. Thanks, Julie, for uh, bidding. Julie bid five. I don't know if you saw that or not, April, but... I do. Anyway, thank you for bidding, Julie. I appreciate it. These three brooches. Next is going to be a silver, a brand new pair of sterling silver earrings. So, Thelma's been reselling for a long time. A long, long time. So... My little nose is getting red, isn't it? Of all the things that I've always liked about myself is I love my nose. I have a cute little nose. <laughs> I know. I'm weird. Go figure. So it looks like Julie's going to get this one for $5. Good deal, Julie. Unless mm -hmm. somebody just jumps in there and hacks her. Right. Uh, Go in twice. Oh yeah. <laughs> when uh when I was a kid I had a root canal done on this front tooth right here. And the doctor just went on and on about how pretty my eyes were to the point the dentist that it embarrassed me. That it embarrassed <laughs> me. So, hey, Lena, uh, I just drank a cup of honey ginger tea, and I'm fixing to get my husband to make me another cup. So, $5 to Julie Dross, right? She's who's got it right this second. Mm-hmm. All right. Sold to Julie for $5. Hi, Joyce. Welcome back. Okay, guys. This right here is a pair of those brand new sterling silver earrings that I bought at Walmart. Uh, we're going to start these at $3. And you're saying $3 for sterling silver. But uh, they originally sold for $15. So we're going to start them for $3. And they are little tube silver hoops. And they are sterling silver. They have been tested. I did test them to make sure. And they were made in India. They're from India. So start at $3 for brand new sterling silver earrings on a card. $3. Mary Polotier. $3. I didn't even pull the $15 tag off of them. They came from Walmart. Walmart, our Walmart, no longer is selling. Faye Mary's are in at three. So, yes, they are very lightweight. Very lightweight. All right, we've got four dollars from Faye. Anybody going five? Mary's at five.
I said six. All right, so we're going to say go on once at six to see if anybody else is interested. Oh, there's fashion reclaim. Okay, fashion says seven. Hey guys, I hate to do you this way, okay? Just a second. We got Faye went, we went eight. Hey Margaret. Hold on, just, hold on just a second. Hold on just a second, April. Okay. Okay, here's the deal. This is what I'm going to do. These earrings back here have some marks on them, and I don't know what it is. I've tried to polish them out, but they have some marks, and so I don't want to sell them with the marks. So whoever, I'm going to, we're going to wipe this clean, okay? Okay. Okay. Can we wipe this clean? And whoever wins this next lot, I will throw these in with it. But they have some little, I don't know if you can see it. They're just some little black marks, and they, they worry me like there's something wrong. I don't know. It's So I'm going to wipe that out, and I will throw these in. And so this time, it is another pair of sterling earrings with a gold tone wash on them. Okay. And we're going to start at $3 on them, okay? okay. These are going to go together. So, so we're going to start at $3 on these hoops, guys. And then if you win this one, you get that other pair that we were just bidding on. I'm sorry. I hate to do y'all that way. but Now it'll be I two pairs starting at $3. She just every wasn't time, sure about the other pair. Every time I kept trying to polish them, I just couldn't go. Okay, I've, you've got three bids at $3 there. So mm -hmm. let's jump. No, somebody's got to go four or five. But um, I just hate that there's those little black spots. And I, I think they will polish out with a good silver polish, but I'm not sure. And I was trying to buff them out with my little card. So mm -hmm. anyway, I got Fashion Reclaim at five. And I hated doing that to y'all right in the middle of the arch. And y'all could see me sitting here with my cloth. I was polishing on them, but. Um, I just, I do not want to ever sell anybody anything. And they both have brand new tags with $15 on them. So, Bay, is it six? Yeah. anyway, but uh, I would never want to do that to anybody. So, what, where am I? Okay. All there right. Is. We're at seven. We're at seven. Eight. <laughs> Thank oh, well, you, Mary. Seven, because Le uh, Lena, Marcel, you didn't have to go eight. You outbid yourself. Now, where Faye went back at nine, Faye, you could have been at eight. Honestly, they got a little off track there. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, I, my sister-in-law tells me that I'm honest to a fault. So I don't think there's any such thing as being honest to a fault. But anyway. So. Okay. So we're at nine. We're going to go on once at nine. Two pairs of earrings, nine dollars. They both say sterling on them, and I tested both of them. I'm sure. 
because I always test everything I bought so buy. So anyway, well, new at the store. Yeah, it's just the store. Thanks, no. Mary. I appreciate that. Okay, so going twice. We get a gold and silver pair, which are both silver, though, Sterling. A gold tone, yeah, a gold wash on the silver. And put the, and they come in a nice little box. That one just on a card, so. Okay, three times. And sold to Faye for nine dollars. Thank you, Faye. Okay, guys, here is. <clears throat> There we go. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got off balance. I've got stuff balanced here and I got off balance. There we go. Okay. Here is a sterling silver. No, not sterling silver. A stainless steel heart rhinestone necklace. And this is the. Yeah. This is what goes with it. The little thing there. And, uh, Anyway, it's a round chain with the sparkly, almost pave style rhinestones. Ready? And we're going to start this at $5. So, $5. Starting at 5 Did guys. I see Margaret? Did I see Margaret in here a while ago? Yeah, she I popped I in, said she was just popping in for a minute. I'm not sure if she's still hanging in the background, but she did. Okay, that's seven. Wait, that's seven. Stainless steel is very durable. Hey, it won't change colors on you. Won't tarnish, won't turn you green. It's a good costume piece. I've been finding some stainless steel lately, and it's very shiny. Like it shines oh, like white okay. gold. With our other name, Lena, Lena Latina Shop. Okay, RP. Uh, I'm saying hi to RP, and I know Lena is somebody else. That's cool. I didn't know that you had two channels, Lena. I didn't so, either. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, phase at eight. There you go. And let me just measure the necklace for y'all, the chain. It is 18, nine and a half, 19 inches long. So, 19 inches long. Oh, no. No, you don't have two channels, just one? Okay. Just two IDs, I got gotcha. you. 19 inches long. Hey, uh, Nita's sister. Hey, I could never say her name, so she said I could call her Arpy. But. Right. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I am seeing Faye is at eight, so we'll start calling going once. Guys, if you get these packages and they say have things wrote on them, just disregard because I reuse all of my little things like this. I am a recycler when it comes to my little bags. Oh. Me most, too. <laughs> most of the time I like to take things out. Except for those big grab bags, I like to take things out and individually wrap them in tissue paper. So. Lena. So. Okay. One, two, time. Bag. Put his little taggy in it with it. Three times. Oh, hold on. I think it's it was sold to 
Faye. Did somebody go nine? No, no, it was eight. Okay. Faye so for yeah. eight. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, Miss Faye. Be sure, guys, if you've never uh, bought from me, that when you email me, you email me your address so I will know where we're sending these, okay? So I'll know to tell you how much your shipping is. I have yep. just a few more lots, guys. I know y'all probably getting tired of this, but okay, this is a modernist brushed Christian Dior brooch. We're going to start at $7 on it. Here is, I don't know if you can see, there's the cartouche down in there, and it says C-H-R-D-I-O-R, -R, Christian Dior, start at $7, and it is big. It is three and a quarter inches long. Feels can modernist to me. Can I see the back side? You bet. You bet. Really long brooch, really long pin. <laughs> wow. There you go, Francis. <laughs> oh, Tina. There goes Bougie. And they're fighting me on this one. Yeah, they like this. <laughs> wow. Oh, Amy, thank you for coming and be sure and email me. I need to hear from people within uh, three days. If I don't hear from you within three days, I offer it to somebody else. So. Uh, you've got my email address, cnd11 at gmail.com. So, Anita wants it for 17. There goes Tina at 18. Oh, Barbara just jumped in at 20. Wow. Okay, there's my breaking point. They broke you, bougie. They broke you. <laughs> Christian Dior is nice. I've only found one piece. It was a pair of clip-on earrings, and I still have them in my store. I actually, this is the first piece I've ever found of it. So, I mean, the prices, the comparable prices are huge. Yeah. And that may be why it's taken a while to sell my earrings because I do have a good price on them. Tina, We're at 21. My friend Tina. My friend Francis is trying. Okay, Barbara's out. <coughs> Dave I don't know if you can hear me or not right, Dave what? um, What's at 21 Latest Grace You want to come back at 22 Oh I Are we sure Are we sure you might ought to hit refresh. Okay, yeah, let me hit refresh because I've been constantly refreshing. Let's see. We are, yeah, I've got latest Grace and Francis Mar. Oh, I'm sorry, Francis. Do you want to come back at 22? That's why that's I was the saying. order. Yeah, that's the order it's in. So. All I right. So sell it on Poshmark if they don't keep it for their collection. Yeah, well, I'm thinking that one is probably old enough to go on Etsy. I did. Um, will you make me another cup of hot lemon ginger? Yeah, we're at 22, fighting for 22. We've got to get a 23, Francis. Oh, there's Julie. Julie, Julie came said in. 23. Somebody must have went and looked it up. Yeah, they looked it up. <laughs> I did not even look it up. That's, That's how probably I, for that size, I would say it could go over a hundred dollars. Wow, I didn't even look it up because. 
And I would, would think it? that it's probably at least old enough to go on um, on Etsy because you only have to go back as far as 99. Anita, don't leave because the next item that's coming up is hearts again. I had lots of hearts tonight. Four. And then have another Monet lot coming up. So I see Francis at 24, Julie's at 25. That's high end fashion, guys. Oh, yeah, at least $100. Wow. So that's okay. I'm happy to sell it right here because whoever buys this just paid for my jar I found it in. So, anyway. So. <laughs> Did you have to pay a lot for your jar? Uh-uh. Okay. No. I know sometimes I have to go as high as 35 but I usually get those big bags. No. And I think my store has caught on to that, and now they're not really doing the bags. They're pulling things out and selling it individually. You see this big old jar? See how big it is? Ooh, that's a giant one. <laughs> I paid $15 for this jar. Oh, wow. Was that a Goodwill, or was that like Salvation Army? or Salvation Army. Salvation Army. So. That's how I do it too. Salvation Army, when they do do one, they're they're a lot cheaper than Goodwill is. Their prices are better. So, okay, so we're gonna go once. I do have to say this is the first jar I have found in about six months. So, anyway, and there was some other pieces that were in it that, uh, that uh, um. We'll, we'll go to, so, Francis is out. Okay, we'll go <laughs> two times. <coughs> yeah, mine'll, mine'll be like a couple of weeks, I can't find a jar, then I'll find a jar. And then sometimes I'll find a bunch of them at one time, and then it'll take a couple more weeks to find another one. <laughs> Carmen, some of that stuff I sold tonight come out of that box from him, so, uh. Uh, I I probably will buy from him again. I had really nice stuff. So we're we're going twice. We're on three times. And it just takes me a second to scroll back up through the conversation and make sure I double check the price. Okay. And I have sold to Fashion Reclaim for 27 Thank you, Desiree. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't find jars very much. Hey, Fashion, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you know it or not, but I have a, an, um, on my eBay store, I sell what I call bargain boxes that have anywhere from 25 to 30 pieces in them for $15. And some of it's name brand, some of it's not. I always try to make sure that it is very nice quality, uh, nicely made. So these are what I would call mixed metal. Uh, they are not silver. I did test them. They are not silver. They are dirty. They need clean. But they are hard, outlined with brass. And we're going to start these at five dollars. Okay. Five dollars. Thank you, babe. I appreciate it. Set it down right there, and I'll get it. Thank you, my love. So, did you put the bags in the microwave? No. Okay. Very good. Five dollars to Miss Anita. Aren't they pretty? Mm-hmm. I like them. No, ma'am, they're pierced. They are pierced. Pierced, pierced. Is anybody, oh, Frankie's from Texas, aren't you? 
Are you from Texas, Frankie? I hope we have some Texas people here. I have a Texas piece of jewelry that is definitely Texas. So they are really pretty. They're real sparkly. They need a they need a good shine with us a cloth or a just don't put them in tarnix, okay, Anita? <laughs> don't put them in tarnix. You're from Texas too, Joyce. Thank you, baby. You're good to me. Uh, so I think we're ready to close this one down. There's not a lot of bidding, and Anita's got them at seven, and Anita loves hearts. Okay, so go on once. Cool. Going two times. Three times. And Anita for seven. Sold. Okay. Okay, this next lot is number 25, and it is three pieces of sterling silver. And we're going to start this lot at $10. And Nina, I'm sorry. It's not like I pinpointed hearts. Here's this heart with that uh, opal glass inlaid opal glass let's see if i can get it to show up better there we go inlaid opal glass and it is sterling i did test it you contact me by email cnd11 at yahoo i mean at gmail.com and you need to send me your mailing address so i will know how to figure up exact shipping please when you contact me so that's a heart necklace on a sterling silver chain this is this um, this ring, this funny ring that goes down like that, that has rhinestones, and it is sterling, and it is missing a little rhinestone, guys. I know it is, but I'm selling it for its sterling, not for its rhinestone look. And, I mean, I think that you could wear it anyway, but anyway, crisscross, and it is sterling. It does test. And then this is another, and they all had rhinestones in them. Rhinestones and sterling. This is a rhinestone bracelet, and it is sterling, and it has that slider. And I'm thinking I got this from you, April. Did you? I don't know. I thought I bought it. I don't it. think I've had a sterling one like that, though. I've had a lot of those type of bracelets, but I don't think I've had Some one of these. Option. I may not have. Anyway. So we're starting this at $10. Okay. Start at $10. I do like that bracelet. That's pretty. Start at $10. Three pieces of sterling. Thanks for coming back, Cheryl. I appreciate it. Trying to get my spot cleared up for my mug over here. Joyce will go 10 on the sterling set. Three pieces of sterling. Mm -hmm. This little heart necklace is so pretty. It is so beautiful. I wish that the... Hold on. Here it is. I, was say, I wish that I could get the camera to really show that little opal glass or opal whatever. It looks like opal glass to me. Uh, inlay. It may be a shell inlay there. There, it kind of shows there. Really pretty. It's quite dainty. And it hangs to the side. You see it goes in the side of it. Uh -huh. so, pretty. So you have one in the bracelet like that. They're really pretty. So, oh, Cheryl's at 11. I yeah, see Cheryl at 11. At 11. Uh, all three sterling, Cheryl. They're all three sterling. They've all been tested. All three sterling. This is sterling. It is a size eight. The ring is, ring. It is a it is a ring. 
and this is how you wear it. It goes down on like that. Now that it's missing a little rhinestone right there. I think I've looked and looked and I think that's a rhinestone missing. It may just be a gap in where they joined it. But anyway, but I mean, really and truly, unless you were just looking for it, would you even notice that it's missing it? No, not those small ones, probably. What is the name of my eBay shop? Cindy Loves Jewelry on eBay. The same all the way across. Cindy Loves Jewelry on eBay. Cindy Loves Jewelry on Etsy. Uh, and it's CND Loving at Poshmark. So. Okay, so we're at $11 for Cheryl. Anybody going 12 That's great for three pieces of sterling, guys. And this is sterling. I checked it because I remember when I bought it, I remember them saying it was sterling, but I didn't remember checking it. So I checked it yesterday when I was working on that. And I had checked all the other two. I checked all of it before I put it in the bag. So it is sterling. Now, I did not check this silver surrounding this. I just checked the chain. So I guess I should have checked it. But wow, those are some really nice rhinestones. Mm -hmm. It has the look of like a diamond tennis bracelet. Yeah, and look. See, mine's not real either, but I'm wearing like the cubic zirconias like that and a tennis bracelet. Well, I wear this right here, this this ring right here, instead mm -hmm. of my anniversary band. I have a, a, a one care anniversary band. But the first time I wore it, I lost my big diamond out of it. So mm -hmm. I took it and had it up. But this is faux everything. Faux metal, faux. But it's so pretty. Yeah. I love it. I would love to have a real one like it. It's nice, Not yeah. Whatever that black stone is, onyx. So, okay. You two, you're the same all the way around. I'll look you up, Frankie. I already subscribed to your channel, but I'll look you up on eBay and Etsy and all that. So, going two times. See, so going three times. And sold to Cheryl for $11. Go to Cheryl for eleven dollars. Thank you, Cheryl. Hey, Amy. Uh, Amy, Amy I started to call you Amy. April. This that happens next to me with everybody. <laughs> they either call me a a Amy or or something like that. It starts with an A. <laughs> On my sheet, this next lot is labeled Monet earring, uh, Monet necklace, but it's actually earrings. Okay. 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 Now, these are definitely Monet, and they're silver tone again, guys. Another pair of silver tone. Let's see if I can, if you can see the cartouche there. Okay. The next lot is the Texas lot, girls. Okay, there we go. There, I kind of see it there, Monet. Can y'all see that? Monet. They are pierced. They are large, greatly large. They are an inch and a quarter long. Now, these here, besides, there's two pairs of earrings in this. Oh, and we're going to start the bidding at $7 on this. Okay. I think these are Monet also. But they're only signed with just an M, a copyright and an M. Does anybody know? Are the, is that Monet's one of Monet's new signatures? But I have found the necklace. I found the necklace with just the M on a little circular hang tag before. Okay. And well, it is, is, I think, to be newer, a newer piece. Okay. Can you see? Let's see if I can get. These are, the metal is what I, I call, and I, I could be wrong, but I call this metal, the design in this metal, brilliant cut. 
It's got little lines that make the metal shine, almost like it's got stones in them. But there are no stones. They're a clip. They are magnetic. They are not real. They are magnetic. They are magnetic. But I'm combining these two lots. Okay, guys, this is so weird. These are the same earrings, but look at the difference in the this. I bet somebody replaced that, or it may have got bent, unbent. So, anyway, so two pairs of earrings. I bet it just got unbent. Mm-hmm. Well, we have Joyce at 10. Angie must have left. She may have. I think she goes to bed a little bit earlier. Maybe she's watching. Is somebody else live? I haven't got no notices, but that don't mean nothing. That don't mean squat. There. Okay. I really think that somebody's meant that. So, anyway. But, uh. There you go. Three, two pairs of earrings. Ten. Are you ready to to uh, start wrapping it up on this mm -hmm. one? I don't see sure. any more than ten. All right. So go on once. Oh, that honey ginger tea is so good. I went two times. Three a good times. one with a sturdy, with a, a silver tone Monet. I had two silver tone Monets. So three times. And sold to Joyce for ten dollars. Thank you, Joyce. Okay, Texas people, here we go. This is a real stone, but I do not have any kind of clue what it is. It is a real stone. It is the state of Texas. Cool. And we're going to start this at $5. Bougie says $5. I don't know what that stone is. It almost looks. Can you hold it in front of the light? Like, so that we can yeah, hold like it'll shine through the color. I can't. I see it's kind of bluish, right? Yeah, it is blue and it's got striation lines in it. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. I find pendants like that, but never in the shape of Texas. I find them like oval or like I have some that are cut in the shape of a arrowhead but I don't know mm -hmm. the stone they're pretty though yeah and it looks like they've kind of brushed gold around the edges of actually them. that is that gold foiling oh it's like the they use, the like they use in um um leaded glass that mm -hmm. That's what that is. And it's pressed on good. It's really good. Anyway, the girl that I bought that off of thought that the gold around it was real gold, but I tested it. It is not real gold. So I think it may be a dyed agate of some kind. I see RP at seven. Look at the lines. This got striation lines and it's real pretty. Super shiny. That surface That's looks cool. really shiny. Somebody said maybe blue agate, dyed agate. Oh, well, it's real pretty. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we're at that seven, man. guys. Anybody going A? Like, 
like a um, like a stained glass. Uh, oh yeah, that's, that could be it. It could be just a thick, thick glass. But, oh yeah, that. Put my flashlight behind it. Mm-hmm. There we go. It's cool. It is cool. We got Joyce at eight. Mine has um kind of like gold flecking in it too though throughout the glass yeah. or the stone or whatever. It is pretty when you shine the line. Oh, turn your silly flashlight off, Cindy. I'm shining my flashlight on the wall. My battery's almost dead on my phone. Oh, no. I brought in a mobile hotspot, and too. I brought in my cord. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Going once at, what was it, eight? Yep, at eight. Have you ever noticed that most computers don't have enough USB openings? Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that was one of the things I looked for. I wanted to have at least two <laughs> on there to yeah, charge. Well, I need and, well, I have now. I have the uh, charge pad, so I plug it into the wall and set my phone on it right next to the computer, and I have a wireless mouse, so I don't have to worry about it being plugged in. Need a California one. <laughs> okay, so we're going two times. Did you freeze up? Uh oh, Cindy, you there? Hold on. Uh oh. Hold on, guys. I can hear you a little bit now. It's just. Are you choppy. there? Yes, Hello? I can hear you now, but Hello? it's choppy. Hello? Can you hear me? Okay. Hold on just a second. There. I'm back. Y'all got me? You got me now? Hold on just a minute. Give me. Give me a second. Just give me a minute. Let me see if I can type. It's trying to clear up now. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, yeah, you're trying to clear back up now. They okay. should be able to see you. Okay, there we go. So you were calling this uh, Texas necklace? Yes, I we were well, at... My phone kicked off and I had my hotspot on, my mobile hotspot. There you go. We're at going twice at 10. And so but I also have my Wi my Wi-Fi on. <laughs> <laughs> what my son calls it, my Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Oh no, we were at eight dollars. I'm sorry. It was Joyce had it at eight dollars. Okay. okay. So we'll do yeah. soul to Joyce. Right. Right. Okay. And we should be. But I'm in eight. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have sat here in the dark and I could see what I was doing. <laughs> okay. I've got my battery going. Okay. There we go. Okay. USB, USB should be going again. I only have three more lots, so we're almost done. So. Uh, it wouldn't have been like tragic, but anyway. <laughs> right. Stop, drop, and roll, Cindy. So, guys, y'all know I always share a lot. I, I have shared my life. I'm pretty much an open book with all of you, and I've shared my life with y'all. But uh, in 1994, 
I caught on fire, literally caught on fire. And uh, mm -hmm. when you're on fire, you don't think about stop, drop, and roll. But I started running, and I'm just putting this in a bag, and it says a dollar. I didn't pay a dollar for that. When I started running, I uh, tripped and fell and started rolling down the hill, and my clothes, which were on fire, I somehow rolled out of them. Anyway, I ended up with second and third degree burns on my hands. My hands are scarred now. So, and I won't tell y'all what I was doing. That was extremely stupid. But it involved a gas can and trash. So, anyway, you can guess. <laughs> so, this is going to start at $5. And it is sterling silver. And it is a little... Um, a little toe ring with a little blue stone. And here we go. Mm. There we go. There we go. Okay, it's a little toe ring. Well, uh, yeah. So, can you see it? It's little bitty. And it's got a little blue stone in it. And there is a stone there. You can see it flashing. But you sure can't see the color. But it is definitely, a, I guess it's a toe ring. It's adjustable. I always thought those were toe rings. But I can't see how you could get that on a toe if you can barely get it on there. So, <laughs> anyway, start at $5. Sterling silver. All right, Cheryl All right, said five. Cheryl. How do you know if it is a toe ring? If it's just small, it's small, and then it usually is adjustable like that in the back. See, I have one gold toe ring. Usually, that the opening. That's usually the is that your telltale sign that it's a toe ring, because uh, it's so you can squeeze it open, open and stuff for for your toe. But you know how Thelma likes to wear her rings down on her knuckles. You could do that on a knuckle. That would be cute. So, and it is sterling, and I tested it. It doesn't have any marks that I can see, but it's funny. I found several toe rings in sterling. So, okay, five dollars. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Cheryl's at five. Anyone else? Who we works going on? I love stained glass stuff. I missed that. And I turned my mouse off so I could grow my phone. Who works in stained glass? Oops. There A I couple know. of people in the chat said they were artists. I'm not sure who it was that worked in glass. Okay. Maybe Belinda? Belinda. She's. So that would be real cool. Where it just says a, a stained uh, glass book that I found at the thrift store that has the patterns in it and everything. Maybe I should send that to Belinda. Look, you could wear it like that too. I just don't have because of, I guess it's because I'm really self conscious about my hands now that I have so much scarring on them. But uh, I don't have pretty hands, so I don't wear rings like Thelma does. Does so anyway, but. Yeah, but we still right. get right. two times. Joyce said she makes beaded jewelry. Cool. Very, very cool. I'll put you some glass. I've got some pretty glass beads kind of piling up on me. I can do some bead lots for jewelry. I have some natural stone beads too, but I'm so like, I love them. They're so pretty. I don't want to do anything with them. Maybe yeah. I'll make something one day, but they'll probably sit there for a while. <laughs> All right. So I have sold to Cheryl for five. Okay, guys. 
these here are vintage they are aurora borealis clip-ons and there are two pairs of them and they're they're different and this pair right here is signed on the back and i don't know if it's ever going to focus enough but they're signed vogue you know like vogue the clothing awesome. mm -hmm. manufacturer vogue and they are vintage. I, I'm fairly positive they are both vintage. And this one here has a Rivoli style tone in the middle. And then it has the Aurora Borealis. And they're both clip on. And I'm going to start these at $7. Okay. For the two pairs. $7. They're really pretty. Mm -hmm. Pretty, 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 pretty. Are they on silver tone or gold, silver gold tone? tone? They're both on silver tone. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but in this Vogue pair, it's really interesting. In this Vogue pair, there are stones in between the beads. there's little rhinestones oh, cool yeah I don't think does Vogue make jewelry anymore I don't think so I don't think so so I think eight, it would be all vintage uh, phase at nine very good look at that sparkle on that that is so pretty nice sparkly so pretty Junior we're at nine uh oh, Julie said ten. I love vintage too, Julie. Vintage to me means better quality. I, I think all the older pieces are always really good quality. Yes. I like my diamonds to be older. <laughs> I like it all to be vintage. Okay. Yeah, she got you at ten, Julie. Um, mm-hmm. And we're waiting to see if anybody's going 11. Anyway, and they are clips. Both of them are clips. Going one. Two times. Ah, there's Faye. Yep, oh, yep, Faye at 11. Julie's back. Julie at 12. Guys, I have one more lot, except for I am going to offer this bag of beads again. Since they're my last unsold thing, my only unsold thing. Bag of beads, bag of beads. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to open my cheese stick. Mm -hmm. Every time. Julie got them at $12. Thank you, Julie. Okay, guys, this is my last lot, except for I will offer the beads again. And um, this is a gold tone lot. There are three pairs of earrings, a bracelet, two rings, and a pin and a pendant. So I'm going to show you the pendant first. And this pendant looks very similar to something that um, Premier Design did in silver but I don't know if they it's not a sign that I see it's just a little gold tone pendant this kind of a little gold tone hoop earring and I will make sure there's backs on these before I send them here's the other one this 
golden enamel swirl pierced earring. This um, natural stone cabochon bracelet. And it's got what looks like probably soda light, aventurine, um, not sure what the brown, tiger's eye. Uh, not sure, not sure, not sure. So it's got some things I just don't know what. This may be carnelian. I, it, I don't know what the brown gray is. So anyway, bracelet. We're going to start this lot at $5. So Okay. And are those carved like scarabs on the bracelet? Um, uh, they're just little round cabochons. Little, oh. they're not car. There's no carving in them. So, you guys remember that faux cocktail, uh, opal ring that I said tested gold? Well, stupid me did not test to see if it was magnetic, and it was magnetic. So it is not gold. It probably had gold. Enough gold plating on it to make it test. It mm -hmm. is size eight. We're at seven. And then there's this really cool twisty ring that has is gold like a gold rope and it twists around your finger and it has a rhinestone here and it's a size eight or seven and a half. And then these really cool earrings that are screw back, which makes them vintage, that are flat chains. They, it's a, what is that chain? Heronbone chain, a heronbone chain that has been laid flat to make this design. Barbara went 11. And there's that other. And then Luzon went 12. So, hey, Forever Luzon, how are you? And they're gold tone. And it looks like there's metal loss, but there's not. Barbara 13. They're, they're older, but there's no metal loss on them. They're just, they Luzon need a good 14. So, you've got three. <laughs> Four, five, six items in this lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items in this lot. Because I listed. Okay, what did I miss? So I've got one, two, one, two, three pairs of earrings. Four, five, six, seven. Seven items in this lot. Yeah, seven items. I didn't miss nothing. I just can't count on my paper. I'm okay. I promise. I'm okay. <laughs> I'll leave that up there. I don't want to displace it. So, anyway. So, seven items. That ring right there is beautiful. Even if it is gold plated or whatever. I don't think, I don't think they're real opals. Opals, they're too uniform-y. But, they're awful pretty faux ones. So, Okay, going once at 15. Going two times. That'll work. Three times. And I have sold to Barbara for $15. Thank you, Barbara. Okay, guys. We started this out with a bag of beads and nobody wanted them. And what did we start them at? At three dollars. Um, uh, you started it at two dollars last time, I believe. Two dollars. Okay, I'm gonna start them at two dollars again. 
Anybody want a bag of beads? They weighed about 13 ounces, 14 ounces. Bag of beads. They have all kinds of beads. Most of them are plastic. There are some uh, puka shells in here. There are actually some <clears throat> little uh, amethyst chips. Mary in said two. If I can get on them. So let me see if I can find them. Some little silver. Some of the beads are um, not strung, and some of them are. So this is basically just a crafting bead lot. So, Joyce, Joyce is at four. at four. So, anyway, but yeah, beads, beads, beads. No bead left behind. Excuse me. I feel like I'm slobbering on myself. So. <laughs> okay. Put some backs on these earrings right quick. Go into time. Full backed crystals for repairs. Uh, Mary, did you say a while ago that you live somewhere where you do not get um yes. Where you do not get um, jars, jars because what I do is I buy junk jars that have uh, okay. I've um, sold to Joyce for four dollars. It would help if I could talk. So I need to hear from you within. Um, from, from all of you uh, within uh, I really like 20, 24 to 48 hours, please. But uh, I'll give you up to three days. But uh, most of y'all that have bought from me, I know I can depend on you. And I have your email addresses so that if I don't hear from you, I'll just email you. Ain't that how it should work, April? If I don't hear from them, I should just email yeah, them. Yeah, I always try to track people down if I have their uh, information. But if I don't, if I don't know, there's no way for me to get to you. So if you haven't, um, I mean, it, we really do rely on the new, the new customers to uh, contact us with their. Um, that way, we know their email number one and number two that we have their address so that we can calculate the shipping. Because without an address, we don't know how much it's going to cost to ship it out. Right. And another thing is, uh, you know, we're, we're really going on an honor system here because, like, when Dwayne and them do their auctions online, they make you check in first. And so we're kind of going on an honor system that trusting that you are going to um, be sure and email us back. So, um, yeah. so uh, um, we, that we just... First of all, we all, all of us that do this, we love our jewelry and we love selling it and we want everybody to have beautiful jewelry too. And so this is one of the reasons we do this is we love jewelry and we love for other people to have beautiful jewelry too. So the second thing is we, um, you know, all of us need to help make a living. You know, that's how, how it all works. So, uh, Anyway, so we do. We're helping out our fellow resellers, things that maybe yeah. we have too much of, but we can sell to you at a good price to put in your store. That helps out too. And so, uh, uh, so if you'll just email me, and uh, I will just email me your address, and I will have everything weighed up. I'll work on that probably some tonight, and maybe maybe tomorrow night. I mean, tomorrow, not tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night. And I'll work on it tomorrow. And uh, then I will email you a total. And I, now, a lot of the sellers like friends and family, but I will do whatever you wish. If you want to do friends and family, that's fine. If you want me to send you an, e an invoice through PayPal, I'm happy to do that too. So, um, 
when you email me, just tell me if you're going to pay friends and family or if you want invoice. So anyway, yeah, be sure and leave me a thumbs up. So uh, whenever, Frankie, whenever you're ready to do one, we can talk. Um, like I said, I don't charge. Uh, I got tickled at, at Adam said that I do accept gratuities and gifts. <laughs> well, I, I especially would accept jewelry if people send me jewelry. I know, so right? I've never, never. Been I will to work, We're going to put up a sign that says, "We will work for jewelry." <laughs> jewelry. So, anyway, so but uh, uh, don't forget tomorrow afternoon at two o'clock on April's channel, they will be doing an auction for um, Casey. And uh, it's kind of a benefit style auction. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, Thursday night on Margaret's channel, she's having another auction. I will be calling that auction and we will, we will be having fun and we're going to drink a lot of ginger tea between now and then. So I have a better voice. And so, um, yes, for Geisha Treasures, I just call him Casey. Because that's all you've always talked to him as about. Yeah, yeah. His name is Casey. His store is Geisha Treasures. But yeah, he, this is going to be his first run, and I've helped him pick out all this jewelry. Some of it came from my personal, you know, stuff that uh, I've um, purchased. You know, for my store, I kind of went through what I had and and gave him some to start his store. So. You can expect good things from his auction as well. Uh, he says I can call him anything I want to, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave will whoop me if I call you darling, okay? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I only have one darling, so, but anyway. So, thanks, guys. I appreciate y'all, and I'm going to get off here so I can uh, start putting everybody's things together. Some garlic capsules for my cold. I've had garlic, I've had ginger, I've had uh, all of that told. Actually, I'm taking, if I would take it regularly, it would knock it out real good. I'm taking uh, my elderberry syrup. So That's good stuff right there. It works so, for me every time. Desiree, I hope you saw my address because you've not purchased from me before, but I do know how to find you. So, anyway, so um, thank you. And you guys, I know... It's 1038. It's light. So, okay. Thank you. I will keep having my tea and I'll get better. Guys, drink just pure lemon juice. Is that what you're saying, Lena? Just pure D.O. lemon juice, right? Oh, hell. <laughs> I've got some lemon juice. So. I give you a little heartburn, though. <laughs> Thank you. I'll drink it at night before I go to bed. I'll try lemon juice. It probably doesn't have... That's what, what worries me about my elderberry syrup is it has a lot of carbs in it. So, anyway. so Yeah, it's I'm sweet it's sugary because it's made from that berry. Yeah. So, in hot water with honey. See, I don't do honey because it has too many carbs. So, I'll just try drinking plain lemon juice. I've got a recipe I'll you that I do with herbs and spices and I make a tea. And it'll it'll make you feel better. It's like a herbal thermo theraflu kind of thing without being you know, like it's natural stuff. Well, uh, I I I battle this every fall. It's I just have allergies real bad, and we had a big temperature drop, and when the temperature drops, and then it goes back up, then I battle this. And so you think that a uh, um. Uh, you canned a bunch of elderberries with no sugar. See, I've made my own elderberry syrup, and I don't put a lot of sugar in it when I make it. I wish I knew how um, to make it. it. I well, have to buy it off I, of Amazon. <laughs> I, you know what? I went online and found a recipe, and uh, and then I ordered my elderberries freeze-dried from Amazon and got them and then cooked them down and drained them off and made the syrup, put it in a quart jar, and drunk it. Is it basically it like making a jelly? Uh, well, you don't put as much sugar in it, and you don't want to cook it until it gels. So, right. Anyway, you just you're cooking it until it gets thicker than water, like a mm -hmm. syrup. So, so, so now all he asks is just lemon and honey and hot water. So, anyway, thanks guys. I'm gonna say good night. So. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Y'all have okay. a good evening.
Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.